Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's not showing on here yet. Nope. Okay. One minute late. Yep. I know. We're trying. We're trying, people. <sighs> Nothing still? Nothing still. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh I think it's oh. working. I see a loading screen. Oh, and we're getting an ad. an ad. Nice. Does that mean hopefully it uh, started? I think Maybe. so. Oh, it's totally working because okay. I can see myself on there now. Perfect. Hooray! Sorry, it's a f that's only one minute late. That's not too bad. No. Uh, and well, and this says and, uh, we've been live for a minute and a half. So. That's true. So according to the stream, we started up time. It just didn't load for some reason. Are you connected to the Wi-Fi here? Yes. Okay, well then we should be fine. <laughs> yep, and I have everything muted so oh, nice. we can't get noise. I'm going to mute, mute my phone, phone too because my mom is great at texting me during streams. Yep. <laughs> so, thanks, Mom. I love you. But we're going to mute that for now. Yep. <laughs> but hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. Uh, uh, Ed is going to set up some things in the background for the first couple of around? minutes. Do you want to walk around? Yeah, let's walk around yeah, first. Yeah, do that for sure. So, he's going to... Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, so let me bring Shane with me. Come here. We're going to start with a facility update right here in the retail area. Because there's a, it's it's changed quite a bit, even though we just a week ago had a facility update. But there's still a lot different because we've been working really hard. So this is what's going on. Up above me, there is a zoo entrance sign. It looks pretty sweet. I'm a, and there's the frog on it too. So yep. Ed, Ed installed got that. Did a great job. We got the monitor. And then, we got the Cheyenne. And we yep, got the Cheyenne. Uh, back here, this is just kind of like a quick walk around the retail area. Yeah, we have products. We have products. Like. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. And we have overstock products back here. And Ed installed a door so we can like close this. And then it's like all the overstock is back there. Yeah. You don't even know that it's back there. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got like Snake Discovery merch here. And we're trying to organize it all and figure out where we want everything to go. We're still waiting for some shelving units though. So that's why there's piles of random things on the floor is because we're waiting for a shelf for like the food and water dishes. We need an end cap right here. And that should come in in I think two weeks, give or take. So we're just kind of keeping some things in piles for now. We've got the adoption island over there. We've yeah. got a ton of cork bark that came in. So we have to add that into the system. And yeah, it's, uh, oh, we have an invertebrate display now. Oh, yeah. this. So this is where we're gonna put inverts. And we are getting some uh, praying mantises next week. In, yep. In, uh, and some tarantulas next week. Yeah, and millipedes. And we're going to have isopods here. And our walking sticks are breeding again. So we're going to have those for sale out here. This guy lights up, but yeah, I don't I'll know. I'll just so plug it in over up. here. Yeah. Show it out. Show it out. Oh. You get to view a tree, people. Yep. Look at the tree. <laughs> oh, look, it lights up. So this came from a GameStop in Woodbury that's actually closing. So we were able to buy this and repurpose it so it doesn't get, you know, tossed in a landfill or anything. And I think that's going to be sweet. Then, yeah, I mean... Doors open. The those doors can open be, still. Those I can be closed. Turn that off. Yep. But yeah, over here, I kind of put our heating stuff and lighting, the UVB over here. We're doing a lot of Arcadia lights. And then on the other side is just a bunch of bulbs and more Arcadia stuff. So yeah, we've got a yeah. lot of products here. Uh, we also have a freezer that came in just today. Yep, there's a whole trials and tribulations with this freezer that we'll get into in an update. <laughs> yeah, the next building update will be the nightmare of getting this freezer. It took way too long, but we finally have it here. It finally got delivered, and it's awesome. Yep. I think it's pretty cool. So now customers, like when we open, will be able to come in and like look at the uh, prices of everything from the outside yeah. so we don't waste electricity by opening the doors. Not on yet. Yeah, it's uh, it has to sit for... How many hours before we can plug it in? Three hours before we can plug it in and then okay. overnight to get down to temp. Yeah, it's not bad. But yeah, then we'll have the reptilinks out here that we plan on carrying and the... Oh, that was a... Oops, you were, forget that. You're not supposed to know about reptilinks no, yet. No, um, not. But we're going to be carrying those. That's like this Friday's video, I think. Anyway, rodents are going to be out here. And yeah, we're very excited. No. Yep. We're thinking... Should we tell them the date? Sure. Okay, we're thinking about opening retail April 9th. Yep. which is like two weeks away. So well, we've got the products ready. We just need the live animals. We're gonna reach out to our local breeder friends because we want to support them as much as possible and try to get some animals in here that are available. We're gonna take in a couple rescues here coming in soon. And we need a lot of feeders, obviously, because that's gonna be uh, very popular at a reptile store is uh, always the feeders. So yep. April 9th is what we're thinking, guys. So we're shooting for. Yep, so uh, fingers crossed. Does it mean it's... it's gonna happen? 
think, yeah, I think yeah, the ninth. I think the ninth. Yeah, the we ninth will work. The second, but now we're like, oh, the ninth might be a safer bet. And I yeah. think that's going to be a good one too. So yeah. All right. that's so that's a, a quick run around of the retail store. We'll go into more detail on I think specific things that I'm really excited for, like specific products, maybe in like a Patreon video right after this live stream. Yeah. And maybe some stuff in the back that's changed too in that. But that's just a in a nutshell. What's new yeah. over here? Now I'm gonna okay. set you back up on the tripod so you can stop seeing me shake all over the place. <laughs> you know, Jake, you're a good cameraman. Yeah, when there's stabilization. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Cheyenne gets to join us every day now. She comes to the shop with us and she loves it. We bought her a big tree, which will be in an update coming out soon. And she loves that play stand or that play tree. So, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to move on. Do you want to plug in your phone to make yeah, sure it doesn't I'll start doing die? Yeah, and try and set up chat so it can't be spammed. Oh, but okay. You can start opening. So. Okay. Uh, one thing I did want to say before we start is uh, it's kind of the same thing we were talking about at our last live stream here. Uh, <laughs> Stop sending us money. You guys don't. You're so, so nice. And we really appreciate it. But we feel awkward. We kind of feel bad, like, receiving cash gifts in the mail. So really, guys, you don't have to send us cash. I promise it'll go to our animals. And I want to thank everyone for every dollar, especially the younger viewers. I want to thank you for every dollar that you do send. Because I know that can mean a lot to you. And it, a dollar is a lot. But I don't want to unintentionally encourage people to send more by doing that. So if you see me kind of like not acknowledging like a dollar bill that's in an envelope, that's why we're still very appreciative of it, but we don't want to encourage kiddos to send their allowance because we're not about that at all. So I hope you guys understand, but keep that. Save that for your own reptiles or save up to get your first reptile. That's what I would do. Oh, is it going to work? Ed plugged in the phone. Hopefully it's going to be able to charge this whole time. Okay, it's charging. Nice. It's going to sit at an angle now. Is little it a little bit. crooked? Yeah, not, it is a little bad, crooked, but, but that's okay. That's no big deal. We're going to try to answer some Q&A as we go along, but we are going to try to kind of switch back and forth between Q&A and opening mail because we have a lot of mail. A lot of you mentioned or actually noticed our living room is Full. Full of mail <laughs> in our most recent video where we moved the reptiles here. It kind of snuck into a shot. So, yeah, we have a lot of mail. But I'm sorry we haven't been able to open it as often as we used to. But that's what we're going to try to do today is try to catch up a little bit. Yeah. You good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Ed's been working with cords in the background. Uh, right where you're all sitting pretty much is where he's been working. But I think we're all set. So, I have Patricia the Box Slayer with me. Yes, you do. And let's hope I don't leave another mark like that one like last time. But uh, I'll try to be careful. <laughs> All right. And, oh, this is for Kukri on Discord, on the Snake Discovery Discord. I got this just for you because I know you really like Papillon. And I needed caffeine. And speaking of Kukri, we need a name for our Kukri snake. And we want to name her after you, Kukri, on Discord. So... I don't know what your real name is, but we'd love to name our snake after you because you have like a very similar username. So let me know, or we can just name her Kukri, as in as in your username. So let's get started. Um, we're going to. Oh, I'll start with a box from William in Indiana, and this one we kind of pre-opened a couple to kind of help things along. Oh, I see one install batteries on here. Is this a Blaziken statue? No way! Oh my gosh! Emily and Ed, thank you for providing content that is both informative and enjoyable. Alright, slow mode should be on now. Slow so, mode is on? Yep. Alright, we're good. Okay, so, uh, William also asks, would you be willing to share some brief demographics from your YouTube analytics page? As a grown-up viewer of your channel, I often wonder what many of my fellow watchers are like, or if they're all like me. Well, that's a cool question. So I'm going to open this while I answer that. Uh, William, it's interesting. Our, for our demographics, last time we looked, the biggest um, chunk, I guess, of our viewers were aged uh, 18 to 34 years old, which is a wide age, age group. And I think that encompasses two smaller groups, but that's the majority of our viewers' age, is yep. our age. Sorry, I had to go steal one. From Need a new show. hat? Yep. I see. You're just I forgot my hat at home. Inventory yep. now. Basically. <laughs> And as far as uh, those who are, um, you know, men versus women, or uh, male versus female viewers, uh, I don't think YouTube takes into account non-binary, but, um, but the analytics that we see is, interestingly enough, uh, two-thirds uh, female viewers and one-third male viewers. Yeah, that's what it was about a year ago, anyway. Yeah, I think we it's really roughly about the same. 
too much on it because you know no, it's we... not like we have anything else going on in our lives. <laughs> we don't have time to check it that often. But that's what I remember from the last time I looked at analytics. <clears throat> oh my gosh, William, you even brought said batteries. Oh, this is a Blaziken statue. That's so cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, I've got to put the batteries in here for sure. There's like white stuff on the batteries. <laughs> Don't know quite what that is, but I think maybe they're a little corroded. Or maybe it's like calcium powder that dumped into the box. It's all good. Let's see. I'm going to... I might have to install these batteries later because there's a lot of tape over them. It might take me a while to load them in. But at some point, we will put batteries in Blaziken. I think he... He must punch his arms or something. That's awesome. Thank you, William. That was really nice of you. What do you think, Cheyenne? Do you like Blaziken? Look. Oh, it's a Blaziken. Don't chew off his hand. That's rude. Okay. Next, I'll open from Sarah in Tennessee. This is a cute little box. We've got aw, a note in here. Aw, I've included some pictures that you can feel free to show on camera. And P.S. The, the chocolate is for both of you. Ah, cool. So this is from actually Ori. It says from Ori. Okay. Uh, Ori sent oh, like a 3D printed turtle shell. That's really cool. I love 3D printed stuff. That's always so much fun. They also sent a bunch of like Pokemon cards. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Ori. And Twix and chocolate. Oh, I'm going to have to like, oh, there's a bracelet in here too. That's beautiful. I don't know where Ed went, by the way. He just kind of disappeared. But I'm going to like, if he's not here, Gonna have to eat all of the chocolate. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna eat all the chocolate, okay? Yeah. That's definitely what we're gonna have to do. Thank you, Ori. Let's see. We have... This is from Cassandra in Washington. Oh, wow. Let's see. I'm also trying to kind of look at the questions at the same time, but without Ed here, it's kind of hard to multitask. So I might just kind of open this guy. Sorry. Cassandra, where'd you go? Oh, that's where you went. Fleur requested to see Roger. Oh, Fleur did? Yeah. Aw, Roger's here. <laughs> he's got crap on his nose, but... Yeah, he's got a bunch of dirt. That's okay. Okay. So, Cassandra... Wow. Did you make this, Cassandra? Whoa. I think this is a sweater for someone to my right. Let's see if I'm right here. That's beautiful. It's so sparkly, too. Okay. Oh, Cassie. Sorry, Cassie. Let's see, I've always been afraid of snakes, but after watching you guys, I can now say that I have been able to pick up and hold snakes. Oh, that's awesome, Cassie. I thought you might like this gift I made for Cheyenne. It's a little sweater. Aww. Okay, should we see if it fits? Uh, Cheyenne does not have her bib on because as of a week ago, she learned how to chew off ah. socks. So we have to find something else or just get lucky with the sock that she doesn't want to chew off. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is going to fit, but we're going to see. Here you go. Oh. oh my gosh, Cassie, this is adorable. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's so beautiful, Cheyenne. What do you think? Here, can I show you off? Come here. Come here. Oh, it is beautiful, and she is loving it. Not really, but she's really cute in it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll take it off. I'll take it off. Oh, there we go. Now you can stretch your wings again. Yay! Good girl. Thank you, Cassie. That's adorable. <laughs> okay. Did you want to? Yeah. Okay. So this is a, a note from Sam from... What's the name of it? Well, thank you, Judgment. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up. That's really Talkers, nice of you. Talkers Lockers, LLC, I think. Tacos Lockers? Talkers. Packers Best Fruit Co. Sam, there's two O's, I think. Is it Pooker? Wait, that'd be weird. I don't know. <laughs> P-O-C-K-E-R apostrophe S. Okay. Best Fruit Co. Uh, they sent a bag of magic mango. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, it's actually mango. Yeah. And Addison, yes, we hope to have leopard geckos in the, the store for because they're great starter pets. Wow. Should we try some mango? Sure. They Sam said, Hawkers. If you want to learn more about it or anything, you can go to magicfruit.xyz. Oh, here we go. That's that guy. Roger, okay. you are not helping at all. You might go back faster than you think you will. You need, like, Martha or someone who's just yeah, going to sit. sit still. She's in sheds, so I don't know. I'll take a piece of oh, mango. Oh, nice. You want to split this? Sure. Eh. 
Oh, wow. That's really good. That's really good. Right, I'm going to go put Roger back. Okay. Yeah. You want a piece? Mmm. There you go. What do you think? Oh, it's very sugary. So I won't be able... Oh. You didn't want to eat it? It's like sugar. Here. You can have this. Mmm. It's tasty. No. Nope. All right. More for me. That's delicious. Holy cow. Thank you. I didn't actually catch... From oh that's actually from Sam Parker who must be the owner of wow thank you Sam that was really nice of you I thought it was someone else who sent us that that's really nice thank you I'm gonna hide the bag over here so I can eat them all and then Ed won't see them and he'll forget maybe okay next is from Mackenzie in Utah oh cool and oh the name went away but the person who sent us Blazekin is here thank you again we're gonna put batteries in him later on I think. <laughs> Okay, this is from, I'm sorry, I already, uh, Mackenzie, Mackenzie in Utah. This, uh, let's see if I can find a note. Hello, Sneak Discovery. I just wanted to take the time to thank you all for that you have done to educate people on reptile care and conservation. I loved your episode that talked about eco-friendly alternatives to help reduce plastic. I own my own Etsy store where I sell low-waste alternatives to popular bathroom products. Included in this box for you is a, oh, cool, a wooden toothbrush. A reusable floss container. Oh no way! <gasps> a oh, beaver brush. Yay! It's a, or a badger brush. So I have one I had one of these, but then it cracked and broke broke because it's made of glass. So thank you, Mackenzie. I've been needing a new one of these. And it's like the um nah, the uh, cotton silk. floss silk floss. Yeah. Oh no. Oh someone's, someone's driving through. Are they gonna come in? Maybe not. I don't know. If they do, it's gonna be interesting for them. <laughs> I'll run out if I see them coming. A charcoal Somebody is soap. coming out. Oh uh my iPad just uh, did that. Oh. Weird. I don't know what it did there, but all right. Um, I can't see the uh, chat right now, but that's okay. It also came with a charcoal right. soap, body soap bar, a shampoo slash conditioner bar, a small goat's milk face bar, oh. and now the iPad is playing music. No, oh my gosh, all the chaos in these live streams is always okay. fun. <laughs> I'm also including a feather for you guys to play Guess the Feather with. Ooh, okay. Oh, hey, there's no. the answer. Okay, no, no, so no, from no, no, no. Kenzie. Sorry. Whoa! So it's the. Did you say this was a beaver brush? A uh, badger. Badger brush. So that's for a shaving. That makes more sense than a beaver brush. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So body soap. Yeah. I got it's it back like to the. Back. Oh, thank you. you. It's like the charcoal-based body soap, and all the packaging is plastic-free. That's uh, I'm really go, cool. I'm gonna go head off some people. Oh. Okay. <laughs> a fan is in our parking lot, so it's gonna go talk to them. Uh, I wish I could say hi, but. <laughs> And Mackenzie also sent, oh, wow. Okay, so this is toothpaste? That's right. So let's see. This is, uh, oh, it just says toothpaste. Okay, so this must be in the eco-friendly packaging too. It looks like it may have spilled a little bit in the box, but, oh my gosh. I don't know if I've ever seen a toothpaste like that before. Do I, like, just scoop it out, Mackenzie, and put it on the toothbrush? It smells like toothpaste, like peppermint toothpaste. That's awesome. Well, cool. Okay, so then there's also the, what were these? Oh my gosh, I can't believe there's so much in here. I'm sorry, I don't mean to spend so much time on here, but I love uh, plastic-free alternatives and like, you get, what is this? Body butter is in here in, again, a plastic-free package. And we have soap in here. I love that it's all plastic-based packaging in here. And then the lip balm in here too, oh my gosh. God, Mackenzie, that was so nice of you. I cannot wait to try these products. And maybe if we make a part three for plastic alternatives, we could include some of these. This is really cool because I just love the packaging there. Well, if any, I mean, I haven't obviously tried these products yet, but they're awesome so far. If anybody else wants to check out Mackenzie's store, it's etsy.com slash shop slash low waste love on Etsy. So go check her out. It looks like she makes a lot of eco-friendly products. And I wish I could spend more time on it because that, oh wow, the body butter actually smells really good. So I'm going to have to let you all know how these end up working out. That was so nice of you. I'm going to set them aside right here for now. Gosh, you need to smell this body butter. Is it good? Yeah, and it's all plastic free packaging. Yeah. Who was that? It wasn't even a fan. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It's a, a kid who's really big into herpetology who wants a job. So I told oh. him to send us an email. Well, that's cool. Well, nice. Oh, 
Oh, all right, cool. Yeah, he can send that us his resume. Really good. Doesn't it? Yeah. Is there shaving cream in here? Uh, that might have been one of them. Yeah, you'll have to take a look. Okay. I'm going to... Oh. Yeah. Isn't that neat? That's toothpaste. Whoa. I know! I know! And then this one is soap. It doesn't smell like shave anything. Soap. There it is. Oh, shave soap. Ah, so this is for mm. you. No, this one's shave soap. Oh, that one is. Oh, okay. That's body soap. Body soap. So is it like just in a push bar? It must be. And then you kind of go like this, you think? Yeah, I think so. Huh. That's pretty cool. Cool. All right. Yeah, thank you again, Mackenzie. Mm-hmm. That was really nice of you. Okay. All right. Should be back for a little while now. <laughs> yeah, you keep leaving me. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is from Brian in Arizona. Oh, no way. Oh, I got some in my mind. Oh, that's cool. It's an Umbreon. Oh, it's even got little beans in her in the feet. It's like a, it's a Beanie Baby almost. Umbreon, not trademark Beanie Baby, but you know. Oh, and we have a feather here. And, oh, so from Brian. Dear Emily, I'm Brian and I live in Arizona. I love your channel. I think you're one of the only people I watch on YouTube, P.S. Guess the feather. Oh. Uh, somebody wants to know Go. if we're hiring yet. We are. Thank you, Brian. This is really nice of you. I'm gonna have to find a very. Oh, we could do the uh, the pan thing. Yeah, I was wondering if anybody has noticed that. Uh, I'll answer the hiring question first. Who was that? Uh, Did the name zoom by? Let's see here. No, it was a it was a chat Car thing. Kareen. Oh, Kareen. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, we are not hiring quite yet, but since we're planning on having retail open in a couple of weeks, Ed and I want to be able to kind of man the shop. We'll probably, since it's just the two of us, only be open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because that'll give us Monday as a day off and Tuesday, Wednesday to film and edit videos so we can keep that same schedule. But I'm assuming after a month of that, we'll kind of have an idea of the staffing we'll need. So at that point, we'll probably start hiring. So if you want, you could send me a resume to info at snakediscovery.com and I'll just kind of keep it on file for future reference once we reach that point. And also, Neil21, uh, the fan mail P.O. box is in every video description. So yes. That's how you send fan mail. Mm -hmm. So you just look at the description of any video and our P.O. box is right there. I, if I had a whiteboard, I'd write it down, but I probably don't want to write on the, on the green wall. <laughs> All right. So we'll keep going here. Oh, the person who sent Bladeskin is here, by the way. In the chat. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, isn't that awesome? Okay, this is from... I was getting... Wait, am I getting cookies? Oh, there is cookies There's in here. There's cookies in there? Yeah. Are those Girl Scout cookies? There's samosas and oh chocolate gosh. bars. I have to figure out who sent that, though. Wow. There was no note, and I threw the package There's already. no note? Oh, well... I want all of these. <laughs> what do I need you first? You crack it open. Who uh, is this from? Donald... From Florida. Donald from Florida. There wasn't a note in there? Nope. No okay. Note. Well, no note. But thank you, Donald. So, oh, they are Samoas. Well, aren't these called like Carmel Delights nowadays? Depends on what side of the country you live in, really? I think. Really? Yep. Oh, this is my favorite Girl Scout cookie. Mmm, I'll just take these too. Right, let's see here. Mmm, thank you, Donald. No. Boop. There you go. I don't know who that was, but somebody asked for it. Okay. I'll and you booped it. someone's snoot. <laughs> so you chose me. Yep. Thank you. Who Thank else you. am I going to choose here? <laughs> Boop. There we go. No, <laughs> it's Wow, okay. they, these people. Uh, Olivia really wanted to get you. That's covered in tape. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, you're going to use Patricia? Yep. Sorry, I'm finishing my Samoa. <laughs> How many creatures do we have? Hmm, creatures? I think last we counted, we had around 80 snakes? 85 maybe? Something like that. We should have counted as we were bringing them We here. should have. When we moved them here, we should have counted. Like, some are still at home, but not many. There's, including the lizards and the turtles and rex and Cheyenne, I'd say 100 is probably a safe bet. Yeah, probably. Give or take. It not goes up fish. every year. goes back down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with breeding season it goes up and then they all find homes so it goes down. <laughs> oh. Eat it. oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, that's a snake figurine. Okay, mine's from... Can I get some seeds? Oh, bird seeds? Oh, I got a garter snake pitcher. Oh, cute! And oh my gosh, I love the Emily rex. Emily got a rex pitcher. Oh, look at this! 
That is adorable. Right, Olivia. I love the bow you put on her head, Olivia. Okay. The read after the letter. Okay. This is from Ada in Finland. Are you going to be okay? No, I'm going to die. <laughs> I hope you read this on a video. Sorry, my first language is in English. Your writing is great so far, Ada. I love, uh, I love your videos and your reptiles. Aww. The pictures are some of your reptiles in Cheyenne. Aww, okay. There's pictures in here? Must be these. Cheyenne, do you want to help? Do you want to help? Here, you can help unwrap this, because I don't think, okay, this is covering a picture, so you can work this and it's okay. You help, okay? You grab that end. Oh, oh you dropped your end. Here. Do you want to wear it? There. You're so beautiful. Oh, okay. Man. Oh, man. Whoa, Ada, you really wrapped this up. This is awesome. What's Omnomelet up to these days? Omnomelet is up to not eating her boyfriend right now, Kurt, hopefully. Yeah, well. Hopefully. No, she didn't. We, we yeah, separated she them. Didn't. Yeah, we, we paired all of our snakes last week for the first time. There's a video coming out. This is adorable about that here soon and Omnomlet did not eat the boyfriend so that's always a, a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. the, she actually helped me teach vet tech students yesterday about animal care. We did a reptile wow. session here and I brought Omnomlet out to explain that sometimes uh, cannibalism occurs with reptiles. This is so cute though. Ada, hopefully I can hold my hand up here and it kind of gets in focus. This is adorable! Thank you! It's like Rex as a snake. Look at that! Oh. She looks so angry. Yeah, she does. I mean, she usually is. So that's pretty accurate. Aww. Thank you, Ada. Oh, there's also a ton of Pokemon, little mini Pokemon figurines like this teeny tiny Wobbuffet. I'm going to have to like stack all these up over here. Maybe they can live by the register. I love miniatures. These are adorable. Aww. There's like a Pikachu and there's like a, a Poliwhirl. Look at all these! I think, oh, these are pencil toppers! Oh, I don't have a pencil with me, but they go on the end of those. Really? We do. That'd be cool if we did. Oh. oh. And she sent chocolate from Finland. It's gonna be a marker topper now. I don't know if it's gonna fit on there. Nope, not quite, but okay. good idea. Good, good try. Thank you. Do you want to try chocolate from Finland? Sure. It's from Ada. I have some chocolate from... Uh, what was it? Where was it from? Buckinghamshire. Really? Yeah. Buckingham from or Birkin? Lily and George. No, Buckingham. Buckinghamshire. That's a very British name if I've ever heard yes, one before. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, 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 Ada said to share this. I don't they know sent I... us some chain, some copper pennies from Whoa. England. Yeah, it's cool. I wonder what, if those are made out of copper like the pre-1982s are. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we're trying finished chocolate. All right. Okay, let's see. Whoa! Yeah. Snake discovery that's, sticker. That's from Lily and George. That's awesome. Thank oh, you, Lily and George. One too. You got one too? Yeah, we got a whole bunch of them. Oh my gosh. We got them all. Whoa, there's so many stickers. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, should hold the, yeah, I found if you hold it like hopefully right up there, I'll have to see the with the delay of the video how that turns out. But that's really cool. Yeah, I sent us <laughs> a whole bunch of stuff like a pack of a couple packs of Pokemon cards. Whoa! Sun and moon cards. Thank you. And a tin. Oh, nice. Tin. With Dragonite on it. Yeah. And some chocolate that got a little mm. melty. Oh. But I'm still going to try it. The finished chocolate is pretty good. Oh, that's that flavor develops. That's really oh. good. Yeah. Right? That is good. Thank you, Ada. Okay. I need two kukri in Discord. <clears throat> okay. So... I'm going to open this one next. Luna in Florida. I think. I think that's a, an F. I think Luna in Florida. Are you going to be okay? What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy? Reese's with the... Uh, Reese's Outrageous Bars. Because it's like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup and Reese's Pieces and caramel all in one. And it's some Reese's Pieces. I did, and I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Because that was an accident. <laughs> Anything Reese's, though, is my favorite. So... This chocolate bar came in a little melty, oh, no. but we'll still crack it open. And... <laughs> it'll still be good. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be delicious still. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, Katana Ooh. sent a message. Yeah. Oh, we'd love to meet you here, Katana. Thank you for all the support. That was really nice of you. Oh, oh, it's all flaky. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
This is from Buckinghamshire. Yep. From Lillian George. Thank you, Lillian George. Oh, is that dark chocolate? Mm hmm. It's that... 75%. Whoa, that's delicious, Lillian mm -hmm. George. Thank you. Whoa. Okay, so Luna said. Ugh. Okay, we've got a letter. A lot of letters that I'm noticing right away. Hi, my name is Luna, and I am nine years old. I'm starting fourth grade in August. And oh. I sent. <laughs> I sent this in July, which means last year, July. I hope fourth grade is doing going well for you. <laughs> now that it's almost the end of it? Yeah, now that you're almost a fifth grader, which is very exciting. I was wondering when your facility will be open. You know, we didn't talk about the grand opening. We didn't. We talked about retail, but we're planning on the grand opening with the zoo and all that right to happen in June of this year. Are you leaving me again? Yeah. Do you know where those... The what? The gecko hangers we were going to put in the classroom. Mm, oh, yeah, they're in the classroom on okay. the counter. Yep, they're back there. Yeah, so we're thinking probably June for the grand yes. opening uh, with, with the zoo and all that. And then, actually, next week, Paul from Custom Reptile Habitats and Stuart from Universal Rocks are coming here for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And we're going to knock out uh, wrapping that back cave as well as getting some of the, the ventilation strips installed ah. and just a lot of work done in the zoo too. So uh, let's see, uh, Luna also asked, or said, I sent a book about animals with fangs. There's an entire section about reptiles. Oh, thank you, Luna. Whoa, oh my gosh, that is really cool. Oh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this transition from one picture to the next on the camera, but Luna, this is so cool. Oh my gosh! We're trying to find good, like, kid-friendly books. Is that a pink walrus? We're trying to find good reptile-themed books for the classroom in order to, like, thanks. if, uh, yeah, things. If there's kids there and, you know, there's just some downtime trying to learn about something, we can have books there for them to read and kind of flip through. Oh, there's Copperheads, a Kistradon on here. That's cool. I don't think, do they know about my Kistradon song? No. Okay, so the copperhead is in the genus Egkistrodon, and the best way to remember it I've come up with is Egkistrodon, and I liked it, it, and I haven't forgotten it since. Now that I know, now I know they're Egkistrodon. Sorry, I, I meant to put that in a video, but never got the opportunity to. So now you know. So uh, Hayden or Sukachi, were if these are the gecko hangers that you sent us. We did receive that package, and I remember opening these in oh, a in video. A fan mail? Yeah, this was in a fan mail video, so. I don't remember which one, though. You'll just have to go through all the fan Sorry. mail, unfortunately. We love them, though. We're hanging yeah, out to them, because we're going to. going to go in the classroom. Yeah, we kept one at home, because we're trying to find more online to make, like, a whole row of them. So if, like, a class of kindergartners comes in, they can just hang all their jackets on all of those, instead of fighting for the three gecko ones. So yep. thank you again for those. We are absolutely going to use them. So we did get your package. And we did get it, yes. I'm going to, this one ripped open somehow. I don't quite know how. It's from Sabine in Alabama. And there's something crocheted in here. So let's see, it also, it also smells really good too. So Sabine sent, let's see if I can find a note on here. Uh, okay, yeah, go for it. Oh my gosh, it's something for Cheyenne, I think. Let's see, it's going to work. I've made some outfits for Cheyenne. Hopefully they will keep her warm and most importantly will deter her plucking. Oh, oh, Sabina, sorry, Sabina. I have no way of taking measurements, so I just winged it. I'm, I'm, I'm adding the quotations marks there because she, she didn't, but I like the pun even if it was unintentional. But the sweaters are pretty stretchable. I really hope that they fit. The original design belongs to uh, the Parrot Macaw bird sweater for pluckers, but I did do some modifications. Whoa, so there's, I suggest that you put the artwork and gifts oh, uh, that are displayed at your facility. This, we were just talking about that. So we're going to get a monitor up here, right behind oh, yeah. me, for prices for all of our feeder rodents. And it's going to be like a TV monitor so that instead of a physical sign, so if prices change, we can just digitally change them and it will reflect on there. But we're also going to put a second monitor. I'd move the camera, but I don't want to mess up the shot and make Ed redo it. We're going to put a second um monitor i guess he's gonna do it in the corner over there just for fan mail pictures so ed's gonna move you over to that end over in that corner 
Yep, so that's where we're going to put fan mail, is on a screen over there, so it'll just constantly flip through all the pictures, because there's some amazing fan mail that we get, and we want to show it to everybody, and maybe change it out, change out the list once a week or something like that. So we're, we're looking forward to that. Okay, so she, wow, are these all sweaters for Cheyenne? Lucky you! Oh my gosh, Sabina, you, there's so many in here. There's even one that makes her look like a feathered balloon gold. Oh, nice. That's so cool. Braylon okay. sent you a snake discovery heart. Oh, that's adorable. And Literally. a picture of Cheyenne. And Cheyenne. I love it. We have to put the A bunch art. of other Oh artwork. yeah, you were pretty good up there. So we okay. got Brad also, so I'll just put some behind us. Aww. Thank you, Braylon. Thank you, Braylon. Okay, I'm going to try to figure out how to put this on Cheyenne. There are instructions. Okay, I already tied the ties so you can see where they need to be threaded through to be tied. Put the sweater on Birdie by putting Bird's head through the neck opening and placing the ends of the ties through the two loops on the bottom edge of the sweater. And then tie the sweater securely in a granny knot. Okay. What's a granny knot? I'm not sure, but I think I can loosen this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cheyenne, ready? Let's put this on. I know, it's scary. You can do it though, I believe in you. Oh, okay. Okay, well I got that. <laughs> I think, how do I get this? Okay, let me take it off, <laughs> let me take it off. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm supposed to get her wings in first, I think. So, but I don't know how I'm supposed to, I, sorry, that scared the poop out of you. I don't know how to get the wings in. Also, the what was the little deformed turtle's name again? Quasi. Oh, Quasi, that's right. Yep, Quasi's hanging in there. Quasi's doing great. Mm -hmm. He's still at home. Yep. So oh. I can monitor him a little bit better. I just so saw somebody nice. ask about it. Okay, I think I think I see how this works. So I go through. I do this part first. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do it again. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll have to figure out how this works off camera, and uh, then I'll then I'll figure out a way to. Yeah, how does that? That must go here, and then this goes. Okay, one more try. One more try. We can do this, Cheyenne. Ready? Bloop. And we'll go like. We'll go like this. Where's this part go down? <laughs> I think that's how it goes. Yep, yeah, that's that that's, looks right that's to exactly me. That's exactly it. Okay, I'm gonna figure out how to do this after the stream. But it looks, there are pictures of macaws wearing it, and it looks like it would fit perfectly. So I don't want to mess it up. I'm just going to take our time. And there are so many colors in here. Thank you, Sabina. I can't believe you made all of these. We are definitely going to be put the, putting these on here. And there's different colors for different seasons, too. So, yeah. I'm going to take my time to figure out how to put it on correctly, but then we are definitely going to put those on here. You made your sweaters! Oh, I can't wait. You have to, like... Post a picture on Patreon or something when we get it on here for the first yeah. time. Maybe that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. <laughs> okay, so from Beckley in Texas, we're just down there. Oh, something else for Cheyenne. Wow, Cheyenne's not been that good. Cheyenne, look got at Got some you. photos from Lily, too. Really? Yep. Aw. Oh, those are so cute. Yeah. So I'll hang Aww. up some more artwork. Yeah, definitely. This is a toy just for you. Look at that. Aw, thank you so much. Uh, let's see, Beckley also says there's, oh, there's like chunks of cork bark in here. We can give this to your isopods. Oh, yeah, I oh, love that. I could totally use that for isopods. There might be another isopod video coming out soon. Maybe. Because we're I kind of addicted. Might not have spent a lot of money on isopods. Spent too much money on isopods, but it was worth it because they are really cool. Let's see. Uh, there we go. This is from, um, from Beckley. Hi, Emily and Ed. I love watching your channel. I hope Cheyenne loves the new bird toy. She's going to love this, Beckley, because I'm going to put this, I think, on her new stand and back because we need more toys to fill it up. And she's this is the perfect type of toy for her because it's smaller pieces, and that's what she absolutely loves. And there's a surprise present for both of you. I also got something for your baby snakes to use. That must be the cork bark. Yeah, we can use it for the baby snakes, too. Oh, and there's Pokemon cards in here. Aw, thank you so much. Oh, there's Voltorb, <laughs> Sandile, Meowth. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Beckley. I'm going to just put wow. this down here. Oh. Vanessa from Singapore. Oh, I love her handwriting. 
Oh, it's illegal in Singapore to own any reptiles? Is it really? That's crazy. I didn't know that. Oh, that aren't red-eared sliders. You can only have <laughs> red-eared sliders in Singapore? That's what I guess. Learn something new every day, I guess. Wow. Maybe I'll put this here for you. There you go. You can have it out here for now. Here you go, that's from Beckley. <laughs> she knitted us Whoa. some things for our snakes. Vanessa, you didn't! Snake sweaters. Snake sweaters! Oh my gosh. I guess I should hold them up to the camera. This is amazing. <laughs> no way. Okay, if we later on take a snake out. Or yeah, maybe... if we have a snake. Oh, there's one more. Oh, Two more. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> do, they, do they just slither in and out of I think snake? I'm guessing so. I wonder how they're going to sit. We're going to have to try these, Vanessa, because I know of snakes that would fit in these. But now I'm curious on if they would if they would fit or if they would just slide out. I don't know, but they're adorable. Okay, we'll have to find uh, a reason awesome. to make a video where we dress up. Yeah, our dress up our snakes and sweaters. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is great. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Vanessa. Those you did a really nice job with the patterning on those. That looks beautiful. Okay, Emily, what's your favorite Wings of Fire tribe? Favorite Wings of Fire tribe. Ah. Uh, I mean, I like rain wings because I really like fruit, but they're also very, well, not necessarily lazy. They just have a different lifestyle. You have a red wings of fire, you don't know. It's probably <laughs> rain wings. Different life choice. Life choice, yeah, it's probably rain wings. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I, I still envision what they all look like because I listened to all the audiobooks. I didn't physically. Wait, are they them. big? They're really colorful. Okay. Like super colorful. Oh, they're the just rain lazy? Wings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, just lazy and they love fruit. They live in the rainforest. Rain wing. This is from Amy in Scotland. Wow. Yeah, Amy, okay. Wow, from Scotland. Wow, it's so, there's so much like, it's like a recyclable package. That's really cool. So, let's see. Oh, hey Ed, hope you know how great you are. Yeah, I know, yeah, I'm amazing. <laughs> He's very modest too. Yep, My the name most is... modest. The most modest, yep. Aw, uh, Amy says hi Cheyenne, and to give you treats. Aw, oh, this is a very nice, very nice letter. Aw. Probably make sure my copy. Oh, she, she's one who got a, I didn't receive her uh, coloring book, so we sent another, and she's very appreciative. Nice. We got her a, a signed one. Aw, oh, thank you, Amy. Aw. Oh, and this is a picture of, oh, Amy made this. Aw. Oh, she made a little Rex. And actually, seeing the back of it now, that's a magnet. Aw. Oh. Oh, that is in focus. That's adorable. All oh, right. Amy, that's really cute. So, Shannon Baritone okay. made and sent you Whoa. this cool little stuffed animal. Whoa. She made this? Yeah. Wow, it's got the beans in it, too. It's like mm -hmm. heavy duty. Yeah. So I, she, I think it's going to stand. So, she actually makes them in, uh, like, she started making them and made a shop. So if anybody oh. wants to go see or go check out, uh, you can stuff fe stuff friends for life big cartel dot com. Oh. If, if I'll just see if I hold that there for a second, and hopefully it's yeah. one of those where it's like you can see it. Aww. Uh, Quinn, the opening dates for the retail will hopefully be April 9th. Uh, you may have to watch earlier for our whole description on like grand opening plans on that, but that'll hopefully be this summer. This yeah. is really cute. I guess Aww. I can look and see if there's still a there's still a website. Go. Oh yeah. Hopefully so, she's still making them. Animal. That's super cute. Friends. Okay, I'm gonna set this over here. And then this is from Caitlin in Ohio. This one has been open, but I don't know what's inside. I think we kind of pre-opened that one. Please open on camera. I sure can do that, Caitlin. Oh, I love your channel. Uh, I even wanted to get a snake. I made this clay hog nose for you. He even comes with a top, a top hat because he's a fancy boy. Ah, okay, Caitlin. Let's check this out. Oh, it looks like a, a Hershey's chocolate hog nose thing. Whoa! Is there chocolate in here too? Oh, oh my goodness! They actually wrapped it really well, so I'm sure it made it successfully. What? What? Hang on. Sweet, there's still a thing. Oh, she is still making yep, them. Yep, cool. Okay, cool. I'll copy and paste that into yes, there we go. the chat. Okay, so people can check it out. Yep. You can do it. I'll do it from 
Oh, as a guest? I don't think you're logged in as anyone. No, lo I'm logged in as you. Oh, okay. Well, true. That's okay. <laughs> cool. All right, let's check out Caitlin's Hognose Snake. Sorry, it's, it's wrapped really well. It's taking me a little while to unwrap, but uh, without the power of editing on our side. Oh, you just posted? Yep, posted in there, so ah, if anybody wants to go check out her cool. channel. Cool. We should do that for, like, all of them. That's a great yep, idea. We, that. we can post a link to the businesses. And it's gone. <gasps> here's the Hognose, and here's the top hat. This is glorious. Oh my gosh. It fits! <laughs> Caitlin, I love the hog snake. This is really cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that must have taken forever to make. He's going to have to go right up front over here. Okay, we're going to put him... You need a small knife? Yeah. You mean like this? No. I was just going to hit it like that, but then it said fragile on it, so I don't think oh, I'll do that. Oh yeah, you probably don't want to do that. <laughs> and this thing's wrapped in... I'm gonna go grab a different thing to open that way. Uh, okay. I don't know where we have other knives. We have a box cutter in the drawer here. Yes, that's what I'm Okay, use. cool. I'm learning where things are at the, at the facility. I'm trying to be organized. This is from, uh, just A. A. Just initial A. Just a. Yep. From Illinois. Oh, it has one of the easy pull tabs. I love those. That makes it so much easier than ripping and destroying the package. Ugh. Whoa, we have... Oh, this is for Cheyenne. That's for you. What's in here for you from A? Let's see. I'll take a quick peek. Oh, <laughs> here you go. It's shredded paper, your favorite. Get it. Yay. Good job. Oh, you're going to make a huge mess. I'm sure that's what they intended. Here, want to do another? Want some more? Want some more? Have some more. So that you can know. Confetti. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you, eh? <laughs> Trying to figure out what else is in here. Oh, it makes sense. Chocolate. <gasps> they match. Oh, thank you for the chocolate, guys. It's so nice of you. And there's also a letter in here, I think. Oh, oh there's oh. a picture of their tortoise. And there's, wow, that's a beautiful snake. Yeah, She must perfect. live in Australia. No. Uh, no? She had a fourth, her fourth birthday party. This no. is from oh. Caitlin. She had her fourth birthday party, and she got to have a carpet python show up. I would show the picture, but it's got her all over it, so I'm yeah, not with you too. We probably feather won't test. Show. Feather test. Feather test. That's a pigeon. You think a pigeon? I'm guessing a pigeon. It and this is, is from Elena, by the way. Thank a you. chicken. A chicken? Chicken. What feather from a chicken is that? <laughs> I guess it's kind of scraggly like a chicken feather, but I would not have guessed that. Oh, she, Elena, made a drawstring bag. Oh, that's super cute. Oh, it's like all, all like pieced together. Thank you, Elena. I can put things in it. Oh, I'll put my Pokemon uh, eraser caps in there. Nice. It's perfect for them. Thank you. Caitlin also sent you a green tree. Oh, a green tree python. And a Cheyenne. Oh, and a Cheyenne. Oh, it's like she's got a little bib on too. There's, look. Look, that's you. Don't eat it though. I know you're going <laughs> to eat it. It's not for you. We're going to put it here. There we go. Now you can't, you can't eat your clay version of yourself. How about that? <laughs> okay, I have one more in this box over here. This is from Rachel in, oh goodness. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> in North Carolina, Rachel sent, oh, there's some cloth in there. Whoa, this is really cool. That's beautiful artwork. <laughs> This is a uh, snake discovery. Wow, you even like made the snake realistic too. Oh my gosh, there's quite a letter in here as well. This is, it's a wrap for Cheyenne. Oh, we're gonna find one that fits you and that you don't chew up one of these days. Rachel made you one. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the pattern that's in my cold wing hole. That covers the chest. Fold, fold, okay. I think I've got it. Uh, oh. uh, I'm no professional, but you, and you may have already tried this. What if Cheyenne wore a vest? Is that a chicken? Oh gosh, he wobbles too much. That's just kind of creepy. Creepy chicken. It's right. actually Cheyenne. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it looks just like you there. Yeah, it's a naked bird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I think. Hmm. Oh, it's a piece of fabric to cut to make the pattern. I see. Okay. I was like, this might be a little big for Cheyenne. But, okay, so you've got the pattern here. I will cut out a pattern, and we'll see if it works. Cool. Thank you, Rachel. I'm just going to set this in here for now. 
And then was there, there was a question in here. Do you plan to have fish at your facility? Probably not, unless we're selling some feeder fish to like feed turtles or whatnot. But I, we talked about it and I don't think we're gonna have fish for sale at the facility. Uh, lastly, what is your favorite type of crocodilian and eds? Type of croc? Crocodilian. What was the one that we saw down in uh, Vegas? I mean, besides Rex. What was the thing oh. we saw in Vegas? Oh, a, the one that she had. Was um, it Coopers? No. Was it a Cuvier's? Cuvier's. It was a Cuvier's. Yeah, we saw a really friendly Cuvier's dwarf came in, and she was able to reach in, just pick it up. That was Miranda's. And she picked it up, just ah. set it on her shoulder. It was like a puppy. It was amazing. So yeah, probably Cuvier. Well, okay. I like American alligators. That's my favorite. I said besides Rex. Besides Rex. Besides Rex. Nice. <laughs> that was a really cool little cannon, though, for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, Aww. My box is empty. I'm going to... Oh, no. The mango is showing. I'm trying to hide that. So I want it all for myself. Ugh. So I got a package from uh. Mallory from Farmington, Minnesota. What? Yeah, she sent some Reese's pumpkins. Oh, nice! And a Cadbury milk chocolate bar. Ooh. She also rescued this ball python. Aww, Aww. it's a cute ball python. Yeah. Aww. She's the one who sent you Cheyenne in a couple years. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pretty much. She also sent a uh, body cream. Arr. So, lotion. Oh, wow. And more body cream. Whoa! That was really nice. Who was this? I'm sorry. Mallory. Ma Mallory, that's right. Do you, you want some body want... lotion? Yeah. It's... No. <laughs> oh my gosh, not that much. Not that much. No, 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 no. Okay. That's a lot. Well, actually, we'll actually put this here because it is really dry and it I is... get super dry here. So it is... we will definitely use that. Thank you, Mallory. Gosh, you gave me so much. It smells amazing. Well, that's a lot of body. I'm going to have to go, like, go up my arms with it. Okay. There we go. Wow, that does smell really good. Thank you, Mallory. Okay, sorry. I'm distracted with body cream because you like load it up hand with it. So you I was I was gonna be a lot meaner and just go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you for holding yep, back. No I appreciate that. <laughs> Would you recommend an alligator or a caiman? Alligator or a caiman? Yep. Probably if you <laughs> neither, because uh, they are very difficult animals to keep. Wow. But if you have the space for them. Probably a caiman because they stay smaller than alligators, but they still need a ton of space. They also are not as usually friendly as alligators are. Yeah, that's true. Whoa, mecha candy cane. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, let's show it. Mecha candy cane. Anika? A N N I K A? Annika? Annika from <laughs> Netherlands? Oh my gosh, this is going up here. We need a magnet. Squirtle magnet. Yeah. Okay, what are your favorite colors? This is from blue, Annika. Okay. Blue and green. Okay. What would be your top three for not good beginner snakes? That's a good one. <laughs> not heard... beginner snakes? Yeah, it's top three not good beginner snakes. <sighs> Dragon snake, emerald tree boa, and reticulated python. Okay, so we all went venomous or non venomous snakes. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, I guess if venomous <laughs> is out of the question. Okay. And what do you think about fake Pokemon cards? Fake Pokemon yeah, cards? Yeah, she asked that question. Really? Yep. She asked, okay, well, we, we do receive a lot of fake Pokemon cards, but I love the artwork on them and the holographic like effects on them. So they're still really pretty, and I still like them because we don't play the game or trade, so it doesn't really matter to us. She also sent you her entire Pokemon card collection. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, now I'm wondering, did, are they like all fake cards that she sent? <laughs> no, she said she had some fake cards, oh, but okay, this was her okay. collection, so. Oh my gosh, is this like, what's this holographic one? Eh. Oh, you smell like body lotion for some I reason. I do. I smell great now. Oh my gosh, she sent all her cards? Yeah, so. What? There we go. I'd show them off more, but there you go. Those are like well-loved <laughs> cards, too. Oh, you didn't have to do that, Annika. Aww. We will cherish the cards for you. I'm sure they were well loved, it looks like. So we will continue that. Thank There's you. There's also a Pokemon card. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. It's like actually put into their spots. That's cool. It's a book for cards. Whoops. I don't know what that was, but I will look at that now. There's so much tape. This requires Patricia. That's cool. That is really cool. Okay. It said. You two can fight over it. 
Oh, I guess we're gonna keep the peace today. All right, what's going on? Until the stream is over. Yeah. Okay. So I get Patricia. Parissa. This is from Parissa in Arizona. Do we have? Uh, oh, it's Jeff. Uh, I'll let you handle this one. Huh? Oh, perfect. Okay, I'll be right back. That box will get opened eventually. <laughs> I will keep going because Emily's dealing with some contractors right now. So yeah, we'll uh, let's see what I got here. Emily's running in back, <laughs> and it's me, which is really like weird because I don't like being on camera in the first place. This one came with rocks. Uh, Ashlyn. Oh, why is there dark staying open? Ashlyn sent us a letter and four rocks. There are actually four rocks in here. This is weird. I'm not used to being this person who's always on camera. She sent some tea and some nuts for Cheyenne. Hi, Cheyenne. How are you doing? Yeah, this is weird. Mom's not here. Wow, that's cool. A sweet Pokemon pin for Emily. And a wax snake. Awesome. Thank you, Ashlyn. And I will just keep going because this is very strange. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit awkward. Anyways, I'll just try and open something else now. There we go. This one will work. <laughs> All right. Um, somebody sent, hopefully there's a card in here, Pokemon Legos, which are awesome. <laughs> Let's see. Send a note. Nope. Gift for you. Okay. Hello, I'm in the U.S. Air Force, and I'm deployed in South Korea right now, and absolutely love your channel. The baby, snake, uh, have, the baby snakes have kept me sane from your aunt and your antics. Uh, make me laugh. Thank you so much. Stay chocolatey, my friends from uh, Alexandra. So thank you for your service and being over in South Korea right now. And I'm sure we'll have to find the time to put this together, but that is awesome. And I guess I'll just keep going. Hopefully Emily comes back up here soon because this is really uh, strange. <laughs> um... And this is generally why I take off and do something with, like, guys back there. And Emily stays. Holy moly, that's a lot of Pokemon cards. I'll save that. Do, 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 do. What do you think of Cheyenne? We'll just open this guy with this giant knife. Maybe. Whoa! Look at that! Show on camera from Layla. Sorry! <laughs> oh no, the door's still open! This has not been the most awkward part of this live stream ever, by the way. <laughs> really? Yeah, I have no idea how to keep things going. What are you doing? That's awesome. Now you know how I feel when I'm left alone. Yeah, you're, like, much better than I am at keeping things going. Sorry. So, that was our... Contractor, I'm out of breath. That was our con one of our contractors and his friend, and they just arrived because they're going to put the framework in for the uh, cave in the back. Right. So that starting a week from today, we can take those. Oh, I am out of shape. <laughs> <sighs> so a week from today, we can take the gray panels outside that are being stored. It's the rock panels from Universal Rocks, and we're going to make the cave next week. But we need something to staple them to instead of just a brick wall. So they're putting studs in, in place. This yeah, is really cute. Layla sent you that. Or Layla? Lay... Aww. Oh, from Lila? Lila. Lila. Aww. That's really cute. Look at you. It's like life size. Don't break it. Don't break it. Aww. And this box still needs to be opened. We got, uh, there's a cool pin that you got that I think you need to put on. Look at uh, that. Put on. Whoa. Did you show that off to the yeah, camera? Yeah, I did. Whoa. Top of Lily? Is that the name of this Pokemon? I have no idea. You're going to have to ask the audience that. Hmm. I cannot remember the name of this one. 
could you guys tell me who that is? Okay, good. I held that close enough, it looks like. So perfect. I would wait. love to see who that is. I'm going to open this guy. Okay, the box is from Lila. Lila, okay. So this is from Parissa oh, oh, in somebody Arizona. Said it. Somebody said it. Somebody said it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Um, uh, Deontay? From Jerry? Mega Deontay. Mega Deontay. Uh, ah. Deontay. Okay, I can put that on. It was Pikachu. Pikachu. It was Pikachu. I don't know. I think it's a Jigglypuff going on. Nice. Thank you. Dang on say. Eh. There. That's actually really cool. I have a letter from Dear Ed and Emily. Hi, my name is Parissa. I'm a subscriber. Aww. You guys are awesome. The fish is for Emily. The otter is for Ed. <gasps> I have an otter? You have an otter. Look at the little cutie. Oh, she sent me a shiny smiling fish. Oh, that's that's a really cute. Dang it. Oh, got it. Yeah, got yeah. it. Let's do this. This is really cute, Parissa. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's going to chill with Ed. Oh, and there's chocolate in here. Oh, my goodness. Is there artwork in here, too? Oh, my gosh. You have to send money. Oh, I love, love this. This is beautiful. I love how the snake is smiling. Okay, I need another... I'm just going to steal all the magnets. Go. Oh no! My Rex! Ah. Okay. Rex, goes back up there. Okay. Thank you, Parissa. I love these. Oh, and I promise we will use the money for the animals. You guys don't have to send that. Oh, here you go. Thank you. you can open this one. Oh, okay. From Sam in Delaware. This is heavy. There's some... Oh my gosh. Did you see what? Yeah, I saw it. In a, I was like, I'm just gonna let Emily open that one. No way. Uh, uh. <laughs> if you, this is from Kunai or Kevin. If you get my package, do not use Patricia to open it. Now we're gonna have people asking us. Oh my gosh. Let Ed use the machete. What? Oh, these are all the cards. Wow, that's a lot of Pokemon cards. Oh, we also got this Gosh. from... Oh, no, don't let him fall. I got him. Whoa! Yeah, isn't that sweet? It came from... This is Legos? Yeah. Lego Evolution. Someone who... I can't remember her name. Oh I'm terrible at names. That's so cool. Oh, there it is. It came from Alexandra. She's deployed over in South Korea right now. Oh, Alexandra. Thank you. Oh, we're going to make these tonight. They sent giant Pokemon cards, too. <laughs> Gosh, this is all from Sam? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Here is my collection of Pokemon cards. I haven't used them in a long time. Hope you like them. Sam. That's awesome. That is way too nice of you. Oh my goodness. Wow. There's Zapdos. There's holographic like everything in here. You put that you've preserved them so nicely in these. That's a good Holy question. Cow. So about how long does it take us to clean up after fan mail? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> no one's asked us that before, but it takes probably, with just the two of us, an hour and a half to clean up after fan mail because we kind of throw things everywhere. But what takes the longest, thank you, Sam, by the way, what mm -hmm. takes the longest is peeling off the tape from all the cardboard boxes because I want to recycle them all. So I have to remove all the anything. tape. Yeah, that takes a long time. Oh my gosh, there's even more. Oh, you saw these already. That's really cool. Oh, that's right to you. And we're excited. Okay, I need I need a box. Oh jeez, um, I'm gonna step over here and read this. From Aaron in the UK. <laughs> no, I won't do that. I don't want to damage anything. Uh, I'll just slice it open. Uh, there are a couple boxes that are like that one, covered in duct tape. <laughs> that one's gonna need Patricia for sure. That blue one. We got. Jaylene oh, from... sent us some bracelets. Oh, and some Amazon feathers. Some Amazon feathers. Oh, I got cat food from Erin. Nice. Actually, I don't think it's cat food. Oh, pretty. That's a cool bracelet. Oh, that was oh, that was for both of us. I really don't like that you're using. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Oh, that's cool. You rock. Oh, thank you. Oh, here's a note from Erin. I think maybe. I love the envelope. It's just a bunch of, it's a dog pattern repeated over and over. Aw, dear Ed and Emily, my name is Erin and I live in the UK. I hope you like my clay green tree python. 
Oh, and, cho and chocolate. Oh, man. Oh, it's a squirrel. That's cute. Oh, I think this is the uh, clay. Oh, if I can get it out, you. Oh, it's not just any clay. I think, is that a bracelet? Oh, you know what? It's a cobra that sits up. That's really cute, Erin. You're going to go. I'm going to move the book over here. So that this can go right there. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Curly Whirly. I haven't heard of this before. Curly is this, Whirly? Is this chocolate? I don't think so. Huh. Should we try one? Sure. Is this some... She's from the UK. This must be some UK candy. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Ugh, if I can open it, that is. Also, I'm going to take a look at this kind of stuff. Oh. Kira. You're way too nice. You're way too nice. Thank you, everyone, who's for all of your support throughout like our entire journey thus far. I'm gonna try a curly whirly here. Oh, we have tried this before. Look, oh my gosh, I love these. I got oh. I got a green tree pie. Then it's for me, definitely not for you. Oh, oh, I see how it is. Who's yep. that from? Ed needs <laughs> hashtag Ed needs stuff. Ed needs stuff. <laughs> okay. And here's, Thank you guys. Here's Pikachu as a dog. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I can't find a name for this one. Oh, mm. Guenevieve. Mm. Oh is my god. Guenevieve. And she also sent the best candy ever. Mm. Curly Whirlies? Oh Twins my god. So hard. <laughs> Sorry, Bo. Ed, you have all gotten Ed addicted to twin snakes from Haribo. Yeah. All because of fan mail. They he are the best. Love I these. used to think, uh, mm. what's the one that's made in Illinois? Mm. Allie. Uh, Albanese? Albanese, yeah. I used to think those are best, but now those ones mm -hmm. have switched to being the best. Where are all the rest of these? Oh, there they are. Aaron said these are all mine. I think. Let's see about that. Yeah, maybe it didn't say that in the letter, but. What is the best mm -hmm. starter fish Guinevere wants to know? Best starter fish? Well, as uh, someone I, I used to, I don't know if anybody here knows um, uh, Solid Gold Aquatics. Uh, but Jenny has put it, in, or she has put it in a very good way, that best starter fish is kind of a hard thing to describe because you don't want to imply that you don't have to take care of it as well, or that it needs less as far as requirements go. Yeah, so all fish need a lot of requirements. All fish need a lot. But a very hardy species to begin with would be like tetras. Tetras are pretty hardy. Maybe not neons or cardinals, but like... I love Orange Von Rio Tetras. Those are one of my favorites. But other than Tetras, I really like barbs. Barbs are fun, too. Yeah, That's why our, fun. our tank is like all barbs. Okay. Check caramel. In my mouth. Okay. Hmm. We got a faucet. We got a baby snake hide. Oh, cute. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is from, hopefully I can find a <gasps> feather Interesting. Pens. Feather pens. Oh, that's cool. You can't click these in. Oh, there is. Oh my gosh. Oh, you've probably heard this same since. Oh, <laughs> I love your channel. My parents thought I was strange for watching reptiles because they aren't fond of them. But I was so interested, I didn't care what they had said. Oh, way to go to keep learning. I'm trying to find a name. Taya, Taya. Oh. Here's Taya's puppy. It's adorable. And Taya also sent a painted rock. Actually, I have several painted rocks in here. And there's, oh, she made an Umbreon. Oh, that's cool. Handmade by Taya. Aw, I love how she has stars for her cheeks. She can go right here. Right there. Thank you, Taya. I love the painted rocks. There's even. Oh, there's even a turtle. A two-legged turtle. Cute. Thank you. I'm going to pick up my draw. Oh, I missed this. That's really cool. That could go on our office door handle. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. All right, so uh, this Violet right, yep, sent us a picture of Cheyenne. Aw, with just a couple feathers on the Naked chest. Cheyenne. I love it. <laughs> Let's see. I'll just maybe stick that there. And then okay. a bunch of Pokemon cards. I get, oh, that's yours. Ooh. This one is Cheyenne's. Oh, I get 
And if I can, there we go. Holographic Morlel. That's Cheyenne's. Cool. Oh, Cheyenne gets one too. Yep. That one's also yours. Oh, uh, and this one's fine. Oh, this is for you, Cheyenne. I don't think I should give it to you though, because you might break it. Sweet. I got a Charmeleon and a Drudgeon. Or oh, Drudgeon? Yeah, however you Drudagon? pronounce it. And she gave, us, she gave us a baby you? snake oh. hide. Okay. Oh, cute. And she, oh, she made the baby snake. Yep. That was Violet? Yep, that was Violet. Cute. Thank, Thank you, Violet. Thank you, Violet. This is from Jesse in, I can't, oh, British Columbia. Oh, yep, Canada. Jesse. Okay. This is, oh my goodness. <gasps> Jesse. James. Team Rock. No, just kidding. She said, Blitz chocolate. <gasps> okay, I'm going to eat one of these right now. I haven't had a lint in so long. It actually has been a while. Oh, this one melted a little bit in transit. That's okay. Oh, that one did too. Okay, maybe I'll have one in a little bit when I can wash my hands afterwards because there is melted chocolate on there. All right. Still going to eat them though. Okay, this is... There's a surprise. Ah, and a note. My name is Jessie and I live in Canada. Ah, I hope you like the chocolate. The... The... Something is a fire wing and a water wing. Huh, maybe there's art in here that I must have missed. I'm not Happy sure. birthday, Luke, from Scotland. Happy birthday, Luke! Let's see, we've got... Oh, hello, everybody. I noticed that's why people kept saying hi, because I'm looking at the screen. They can see me looking at the screen. Oh, they're saying hi to you. <laughs> yeah. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I love that you did that. <laughs> I have... Oh. A drawing of nearly headless Nick. This was actually sent after he passed, so it might be uh, an RIP. Well, it's gonna have to get hung up. And there's also, I'm Ruby. I've been watching your channel for a few months. Uh, Ed, Ed needs to be on camera more, because <laughs> here is Emily and there is Ed. Well, now you can fill in that question mark with it. There he is. Yay, that's what I look like. <laughs> and Ruby sent. Hold you up, nearly headless Nick. There we go. And she sent a toy for Cheyenne. Aww. Cheyenne, you're gonna love this. Oh, 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 ah! Oh, wow. Ready? Get it. Okay. Good girl. Can you throw it? Oh, yeah, she in threw the it, right? poop. Mm, okay, I'm gonna poop wash time. it and then I'll bring it home. That's cute. She likes that. So Leah has oh. this little ball python. He's a cutie. His name's Melvin. Aww, she also Melvin. sent some t-shirts. Oh, really? Oh, show that off? my gosh. And this one. What? This is from Tia, did you say? From Leah. 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 Oh, Leah, yeah. Leah! Oh, my gosh. So I know Emily's going to have, she called it the scholarly hognose. I'm just gonna get changed off screen. Uh, yeah, Emily's maybe running off screen just to change into that shirt. Ugh. Oh, thanks for throwing that at me. <laughs> I'm trying to get changed behind the camera and you're gonna throw stuff at me. <laughs> this would be an awkward time for a fan to walk in. Yes, it would. Yeah, let's hope nobody does. <laughs> I'm gonna I mean, have to. It's get... like you're wearing a bikini right now. So. That's true. Yeah, okay. Uh, this shirt I think is gonna fit perfectly. Are Ugh. leopard geckos good starter pets? Starter reptiles. Star leopard geckos? Yeah. Yeah, leopard geckos are awesome starter reptiles. They are docile and they're good eaters and they come in all sorts of colors. Yeah, leopard geckos Call are great. Call that the scholarly hognose. I love this. <laughs> it fits perfectly, Leah. Oh my gosh. And then they even sent this one too. Ah! What? Oh. Ugh. Oh. Nice. Well, now yeah. you're not going to see the hog nose. I'll go like, there you go. There. Beautiful. I love these shirts so much. Like, I can't even. This is, I'm going to wear this one tomorrow. This one for the rest of the day today. And I think this is going to go to Tinley oh. with me. Wow. Thank you, Leah. <laughs> you know, I saw his, it fits so perfectly, opener. too. <sighs> I got a keychain lizard bottle opener. Oh, Need to go cool. find a bottle to open. Okay. I think all we have is beer back that's there. That's fine. I can drink a beer right now. All right. Can you get me a beer? Yeah. All right, sweet. Not a beer. You know what I like. Yeah. I don't like beer or wine. Ah. But, but Mike's. There we go. Okay. I ah. love these. Thank you. We're so lucky to have you guys all in our lives. Like, 
Really? We're, we don't deserve all this. But I love this. Thank you. This is from Sophia. Uh, looks like we'd already crossed out the address, including the state. So I don't, I can't read the state on here. But we tried to cross off as many as we could beforehand. Ugh, Sophia sent oh, Snickers almonds. And uh, Sophia, oh, her email address. I'm glad I didn't show that on camera right away. <laughs> and this is the Snickers is for Ed. Oh, the chocolate bunny is for Emily. Oh, there's a chocolate bunny. Okay. Well, thank you, Sophia. And this is an adore. I think, is this a, ah, uh, I believe a leopard gecko would be my guess. Aw, that's really cute. I love the spots. Thank you, Sophia. I'm going to hang this right up behind me. Ugh. Oh, no, I need more magnets. I need tape or something. It can go right here. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Oh, nice. Where did opener go? Uh, right here. Oh, perfect. This one? Yep. Okay, does it work? Ah. We'll have to see. Oh, oh look at that. Nice. Here's your pop. Yep, here's my <laughs> pop. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's wait. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. This one is taped with Pokemon tape. That's awesome. From the Pokemon Center? Is it where is there a Pokemon Center where I can get Pokemon tape? That's really cool. <laughs> did that just pop out with confetti? It did. I wonder if they meant to scare you. I'm sure they did, and it scared me. It worked! Oh. I'm glad you opened that and not me. So basically, you pull the tab down. Oh, uh, everything's walking in. And it does that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That worked a lot better that time than it did the previous time. That's awesome. Cleanup's going to take a little From extra Calvin. longer now. So Kelvin There's... sent us this, and he sent Thanks, us Kelvin. Uh, the fuzzy peaches. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. All right. Ah, okay, so here's apparently Kelvin sent us these, which are fuzzy peach candies. Oh, those are really good. And again, I'm oh, they're sour. Mmm. I like it. Thank you, Calvin. I'm glad that the second pop was when the glitter went everywhere. Um, I also sent some Pokemon cards and some earrings. Oh, and a sweet Pokemon keychain. Okay. All right, and Emily's okay. back. I'm back. I'm back. Oh so, my god. So thank gosh. you, Calvin. For the sweet bottle opener that's going to be already going on my keychain. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, there's a Pokeball keychain yeah. too? That's so cool. That oh, I put it in my pocket. Okay. This is just a box. The one that had the uh, Pokemon tape, by the way, is a box full of Pokemon cards. That is amazing. These are like old cards. First edition Onyx. Nice. This is the first one I saw. There we go. Wow. Got my keychains already. Oh my gosh, I need a name. Who is this? From that one was crossed out. Okay, there's a letter. Let's see. Oh, it just says Emily and Ed, thanks for being awesome. It doesn't. Aww. There's no names. No what? names. I wish. I wish this wasn't already crossed out. You know what? There wasn't. It was just a PO box. There wasn't even a name on here. Oh, I don't know who to thank. But hopefully, uh, you're seeing this. And oh my gosh, there's holographics in here too. This is Misty's Tentacruel, guys. That, like, brings me back to the early 2000s. Well, I'm going to go through these in a little bit. Thank you so much, whoever sent these. Um, anonymous, I guess we'll just go with for now. These are so many cards. Okay, I'm going to go through those in a bit. That is awesome. Okay, so now we've got... So these are for snakes. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, for baby snakes. Yep, from... Cute! You smell the roses. How, how do you pronounce your confetti that? confetti on your beak. There yeah. you go. Huh, what? Uh, from Reagan. Reagan, okay. Oh, from Reagan! You said, oh, who is seven years old. Yep. Oh. Reagan, oh, wow. That's supposed to be for snakes, not for Cheyenne. You're not supposed to eat the flowers? Reagan also sent us a bunch of drawings. Oh, cool, there's a tiger. Oh, Rex! Oh, it's Rex! Rex. <laughs> oh, I like it. Wait, 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 wait. That's adorable. It's Rex. Rex. Cute! With the baby nice. stripes. <laughs> okay, so... We need either tape or more magnets. Oh, what's that sticking on there? I don't it's, know. It's, 
we need, do we have tape in here? I would love to like tape, tape some things. of these up if we have masking tape. Uh, I don't see any here. So we'll just keep our eyes open for like magnets. And we can like hang it with that. I'm going to put Rex over here so we know that we need to hang that one. Oh, super cute. Okay. This is from Amelia in North Carolina. Oh, oh, that's right. I'll open the one from Cheyenne. Not you, Cheyenne. Other Cheyenne in Texas. After this guy. Okay. Amelia in South Carolina. I'm going to open it upside down so the address... There's addresses on both sides. Ah, okay. I'll open it like this. Yep. This is safe, right? I'll just stand over here. What if I perforate a line by stabbing a line? And then I can rip it on the perforated edge. There we go. I think I think that works. Eh. Ah. Open. Uh. That's cool. There's so much tape. K or Grub and Hub on Instagram sent us Pokemon pins. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, those are. A Adorable. Yeah. They're like, are they made from Pokemon cards? Yes. Yeah. Yep. She said they're made from Pokemon cards. Whoa. She said she tried to send it to us in the past, but the letter ripped open or something. Oh, I probably, we remember yeah. those happening. So she opted for a box this time. Wow. She also sent us a really cute uh, strawberry poison milk frog uh, postcard. Oh, what a great way to reuse cards. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that done before. Thank you, Kay. My gosh. Yeah. It just, just goes by K, it looks like. Yep. Oh, thank you. We're going to find, maybe, I'm getting a pin backpack backpack from oh, Terra Tiger right. Studio. Yep. So maybe I can put all those on the backpack, and that'll be my Tinley backpack. What in the world? Is, oh, Box that's cool. Latios. <laughs> Latios or Latios? I think it's Latios. Latios the is red the red one. one. Okay. Oh, the first thing I see when I open this is, do not use the knife. Uh, I use the machete. I hope that's okay. Yeah, it's not a knife. <laughs> now that's a knife. <laughs> you're not uh, Paul or Stuart. You I know, I that. can't do that. I'm. They can do it. They can say uh, it. You're not Australian not enough. <laughs> this is from Amelia. For the past month, I've been begging for a male corn snake, but Mom said to wait until Christmas. This one was sent in August. I'm sorry, this Oops. one was an older one, too. I hope you got one for Christmas. <laughs> That'd be awesome if you did, Amelia. Let's see, uh, email, I'm not able to read, okay. Uh, oh, and then there's a list of all the stuff that's in here. I am. I love your videos. Emily, please share the chocolate. Unless I take a pen and write, don't. Don't share the chocolate. Maybe I'll have to do that. Okay, Amelia sent, whoa, there's coffee in here. You know, all of my favorite things, coffee and chocolate. No way. Oh, and then we've got a toy for Cheyenne. Look at that. Are you trying to figure out what's going on? Okay, she's trying to figure out what's going on here. Oh my gosh, Amelia. You sent so much coffee. We should have brought the coffee maker up here. Oh, we should have. Yeah, that would have been great. And then there's leaves or um, plants for baby snakes. You know, you guys are so nice to send these. We go through these because when we have these with all the little um, like flowers and leaves you send, we use those for our baby snakes. But they occasionally, you know, like poop all over one and it's just more... It just makes sense for us to unfortunately toss it if they're bad enough, like if they've been washed enough times and they pooped all over again, we have to throw it away. But then you always send us more, so we can we have like an everlasting stash of these that we can use for the babies, which is amazing. Thank you so much for your thoughtfulness, guys. I'm all gonna right. set this here. One, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three. Feed snakes. <laughs> Play feed sn No, it says feed snakes. Play oh, with that oh, ball Oh, I see. Dog. Feed snakes. Yep. So you gotta go feed snakes, I guess. Well, I'll see you later. I'll see you in about four <laughs> no, hours. No, no, no. You stay back up here. I'll go feed the snakes. Oh, uh -huh, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's cute. This is from Stella. She sent Pokemon cards, Pokemon action figures. Did she make this? She made... I don't know if that was hers. Made, oh, no, is this Reagan. Reagan's. She Reagan. made this. I love this, Reagan. She made oh, this. Stella made that? She sent us some uh, band-aids, so I'm just going to put that in the first aid kit drawer. That'll be behind our truck. She sent counter. us a Pokemon card pack, so we'll have to open that later. That's gonna and go. she sent us a water dish. Oh, cool. 
You know, we're taking in that rescued bearded dragon this weekend, I think, for Adoption Island. Oh, are we? Yeah, this could be his veggie bowl. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's like, you have psychic powers or something. It's perfect timing. Yeah. Thank you. Whoa. So, yeah, we are officially taking in rescued reptiles for Adoption Island. And the first one we're getting this weekend. So, okay. Well, I'm going to run out here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just stab this a bunch of times as Emily grabs more mail. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I have to do rip everything open. This here. And see what this is. Oh, it came in a deli or a Ziploc or not Ziploc. I don't know. I can't think right now. Okay, I'm almost back. Let's see what the note says. Emily's coming back. One day. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Right. Okay, what kind of snake do you think this is? Oh, a very pretty one. Is it a type of corn snake? <laughs> corn snake! Corn snake! <laughs> nice! <laughs> awesome. Let's see, this is from... Cam that was from Cameron from Glasgow, by the way. Oh, nice. From Cameron? Scotland, yep. Oh, that's a beautiful snake, Cameron, that you drew. This is from Larry? L-A-R-I? Yeah, I yeah, think Larry? so. Yeah, Larry? Larry in Georgia. Oh, no, wait. Oh, what? Holographic Charizard. Nice. Oh, man. Okay, has anybody ever had tea cakes before? Tea cakes? Milk chocolate tea cakes. Do you, I assume you eat them with tea? I mean, I feel like tea is just an excuse to eat chocolates and sweets. <laughs> yeah, really? Right? Yes. I think so. That's yeah. why people like tea? For yeah. tea time? Probably. Yeah, I can see that. Oh my gosh. So that's what a tea cake looks like. <laughs> Is it? Oh. It's like marshmallow. It's a marshmallow thing on the inside. Oh, wow. That's really good. Okay. I'm hoping someone... Well, Ellie says tea cakes are very good. And hi, I'm Steve says they're... Everyone's saying that they're delicious. Biscuit and marshmallow. It yeah. is a biscuit and a marshmallow. That's that's all it is. I had never even heard of this before. Hmm. That's pretty good though. It's very light. Very light. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Awesome. Thank you, Cameron. So Larry sent. Just keep eating this. You're just gonna keep eating it. Mm -hmm. I can't find a letter in with Larry's package, but Larry sent some snakes, some toy snakes, and a toy that we can give to Cheyenne. So this is great. Cheyenne. Look, it's a new toy! Look, hey, Diane! You're just distracted. Yeah, you're distracted. Well, how about I hang this off of this toy, and then we'll put it on your new stand uh, after the stream. There we go. Then you can actually play with it like a proper toy. We'll put it there for now. Thank you, Larry! And I keep forgetting, we also have this box from Cheyenne. Not you, Cheyenne. Other Cheyenne in Texas. So this one I feel like I could open with just hands. That's from Brayden? Yes, Brayden uh -huh. from England. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. It's drawing. Oh, cute drawings. They also Aww. sent a bunch cute. of uh, little hand toys. Aww. Thank you, Alessandra. That's very nice and of you. Crunch honeycomb chocolate. Honeycomb? Yeah. I think we need to try that. I've never heard of that before. Okay. I am eventually getting this open from Cheyenne. Okay. Okay. Cheyenne sent an empanada maker? Maybe that's not actually what's in the box. Oh, oh it's really not good. that. Really? Mm-hmm. Here you go. I'll try that. Hmm. Oh, UPS guy is here now. That's a late delivery. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, your turn. All right. That is very good. Honeycomb chocolate. Right. Never heard of that before, but that's awesome. Okay, so it is not an empanada maker in the in the box, but this is from this is from Cheyenne, Texas Cheyenne. We'll go with. And sorry for the noises in the background as the door is opening and closing. Oh, Cheyenne, did you make a horse? I think I think that's a horse. That must have taken forever. All the little pieces you put together. Holy cow! That's really cute! Okay, that one's gonna go over here next to some of our other goodies. I guess the bubble wrap can go down there for now. 
want to show off all these clay figurines. That's super cute. Aww. And also sent, aw, Cheyenne sent pictures of her dogs. That's really cute. Aww. Thank you, Cheyenne. Aww. And there's actually one more piece of paper in here. This, oh, she sent artwork too. Oh, cool. This is, she sent a drawing of a cobra and an over dramatic snake. Aw, thank you, Cheyenne, for the artwork. That was really thoughtful of you. I love all of the thought you put into the stripes and the zigzaggy stripes into the cobra. That's really cute. You even put a caption on, like in our videos. I'm hoping to find tape or magnets, and I'm making a pile of the art that I want to slap up there as soon as we find some. So, we're gonna, uh, so I have that all over there for now. Where did these come from? Is this Oh, yeah, peach? I got that when you were gone. Are they chewy? They're sour and chewy, Whoa. they're delicious. They're very sour. So we got something from... This is amazing. Sticker Mule. Oh, I know what that is. Do you want to show it off? Here. That was what was in the Oh my gosh. Yes. These are really good. We got hot sauce from Sticker Mule. I know it's hot sauce because they send it every time we get something from them. Mm -hmm. I want all of these. I'm going to put them by my... So you buy anything from Sticker Mule anymore, you get mule sauce, if you which is a like sauce. A certain amount. Oh, is that what it is? Yep. Okay. Hmm. I know what this is. I'm excited for this. So this isn't fan mail, I guess, but this is a update on the, a facility update kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> You're here while we receive this, and I have not seen these. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. <laughs> uh -huh. So when we announced that we had adopted. Allie, the black and white tegu, an amazing artist, made this. And you may remember us posting this on the community tab. Well, we reached out to her and we figured out an agreement for us being able to buy the rights to, well, we basically paid for the design so we can put it on merch as well as make keychains out of it. And this turned out so cute. It's the little tegurito. Oh, I think that turned out all right. Yeah, that turned out great. That's perfect. We want to make like a, a line of collectible keychains. So we have the Rex one. This one. Have they seen the Rex one? Uh, I posted the Rex one on the community tab. Okay. But it's right here. Oh, yeah. In case you didn't see it yet, this is the other keychain we're going to have, like maybe up at the front register. This is the, the little Rex keychain that another fan made that we uh, commissioned. So, yeah. Fun, fun reptile keychains that we're going to have up here. Can you? Oh. Are you going to send you some nuts too? Oh, lucky girl. Ooh, this is chocolate. Whoa, this is from Amazon. With the notes. Thanks. Hi. Are oh, you coming back? Okay. Yeah. Hi, Emily. Hi, Ed. Hope you guys enjoy the chocolate. They are my favorite and the only kind I, kind I eat. P.S. They are better after being in the fridge from Sean Robbins. Sean's uh, on Patreon. And Sean, I believe, got one of our snakes last year, one of our babies. The score bar. Oh, lucky. Whoa. Oh, scores are delicious. Really? Oh, oh they're toffee. so amazing. This is perfect for you. You yeah. love coffee. You've had these, though. Oh, these are the best. It's oh. dangerous that they sent us 18 of them. Oh, my gosh. Here, There's I'll 18? trade you. Oh, but I like <laughs> both. You both. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, crisp butter toffee. A whole box of scores, Sean. That's insane. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, should we put them in the fridge, or should we try one now, or both? Um... I mean, that's a few. I'm gonna try one now. Those are dangerous. Really? Yeah. Score. You've never okay. had a score bar? I've heard of them and seen them, but I don't think I've ever had them. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, let's just show them off. Hmm. No way. I like the Loki snake. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's Loki, that's right. I know this person. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, do you? Well, I mean, uh, I recognize Nila. the artwork. Yeah, Nila. Nila. So Neela, who I believe made these on Twitter. But you know me as your friend's friends. <laughs> so Neela made these a while ago. I didn't realize she was sent us the actual um, prints of them too. But here's Loki, our black-tailed Kribo as Loki, the god of mischief. Cheyenne as a rain wing. Cheyenne as a rain wing. Rex as a mud wing. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. A candy cane and Loki with Loki's helmet. Yeah, oh, and here's the candy cane. See, I think... Was it on Twitter that you you posted these originally? 
because these are adorable. I, I thought I shared this on the community tab too, but maybe I didn't. I absolutely love them though. And you captured the look of each dragon tribe mixed with our animals perfectly, Neela. <laughs> what? So they're, uh, they're from Canada and they said, quick myths about Canada. We do not say A at the end of every sentence. We use it like saying right at the end of a sentence or like, hey. Oh, uh, so we do a, not put maple go... syrup on anything. On uh, anything? Everything, everything, everything okay. So they don't put maple syrup not on, on everything? Not on everything. I'm surprised by that one. Okay, yeah. Canada isn't a winter wasteland. We have hot summers. Every province has different weather. Hmm. And where I live, odd weather. Rain and thunder for an hour, then 30 degrees Celsius, 86 Fahrenheit in another, then hail while it's still sunny. Okay, nice myths debunking. I don't believe it. All those are fake. I still think you say A after everything, yeah. eh? And you put chocolate, you put uh, maple syrup on everything. On everything. I know that one. Just like how us she Minnesotans also, have pet moose. They sent you this. Oh my gosh, Neela did? All of them, yep. Oh, what so, is a blueberry one? I oh, guess. blackberry. No, black currant. I don't know what currant is. And then no. uh, chili, and then a 70% and a 100% cacao. Oh my gosh. I wonder I'm gonna if the, try this. you're gonna try that yeah. one. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't know which one to try. I feel like the chili one's gonna be spicy, uh, and I don't know what black currant is, so maybe I'll try that one. That's what we'll go with. <laughs> Somebody said from Canada here. We have four seasons in one day. Some days. Oh, nice! It sounds like Minnesota actually. Yeah. <laughs> now we're in rainy season oh, today. So apparently. bitter. Is it? Oh, so okay. bitter. Okay, maybe I'll try that one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's like eating chalk. I love it. Ooh, that is very bitter, isn't it? Okay, I'll wait on this one, actually. Ooh, it's going to take a while for that bitterness to leave. Ooh. Ooh, wow. 100% is a lot of cacao. Black currant is a type of berry. It is a berry. Oh, okay. Does it look like blueberries? Black I currant. I don't know. Hmm. Kind of what it looks like on the poster. Kind of. I'll try that one in a little bit, I'll just, I think. Uh, Set all these. You're gonna claim all the score bars down here. All right, I have my one. I guess I'll put in my pile of other things. Whew. Oh, they also sent a feather test. Ooh, feather test, feather test. Okay, I'm also gonna open this from PO box. Okay, so there's probably a name in here. Create your own ah. wax seal. <gasps> Thank you for choosing AMZ Deco for your wax seal stamp. Is there, there a the teentiest little feather. This is a zebra finch feather. Does it say? It might in the note that I didn't read the whole thing out. <laughs> the, okay. I'm going to guess. I, I put my money on zebra finch. And that is a flight, uh, secondary flight feather. Zebra finch wing feather. Oh, yeah. I knew it. Nice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Helps that I used to breed those. Yeah. We both did that. Whoa. Oh. <gasps> Is it a snake discovery stamp? Yes. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. It's our logo and that everything. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have wax at home yes, too. Yes, we do. We just, we've never used it because someone went through a phase where he thought it'd be cool to wax seal every stamp we send out yeah. and then it never happened. But no, it, now... That was a long time ago. Like, And that was just for the letter R for our last yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Now, now it's snake discovery. It's snake discovery. Oh, but there isn't a name on here. I couldn't. Yeah, this is another from Anonymous. There isn't a note in here or anything, but unless it's from AMZ Deco. But uh, yeah, that that is epic. Okay, now we need to send out. Who are we going to send a letter to? We need to send off a letter just so we can stamp it with this. I mean, this is so cool. Does that screw up stamps from like like Patreon? Patreon would that make it more? Oh, because of that extra weight? The extra weight? I don't know. I don't think it would be an ounce of weight. And they go by the ounces, I think. That would also be a lot of work for that many Patreon people. Maybe I like, love you, Patreon people. That's a lot of well, work. Well, maybe random Patreon Oh, there we go. go yeah, that's what we can a do. A select few. We will put the wax seal on your envelope this month. Because we we're going to um, do Patreon this Thursday. So now we have a stamp for it. Okay, that's what we're doing. That's what yep. we're doing. This is going to go right over here. That's so cool. Thank you, whoever sent that. Maybe if you're on Patreon, you'll get to see that on your envelope. That is awesome. We have had like eight people drive through our parking lot since we started doing Should this live stream. Should I close the gate? Maybe after that truck leaves. Oh, that's a fan. Yeah, that's a fan. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think they see that they're, we're filming. Hopefully. <laughs> this is from E. Davidson in Canada. 
Canada? Wow, Canada, eh? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just not gonna stop. We Americans don't understand when a joke gets old. <laughs> Especially Emily. <laughs> yeah. Does not have a note. Whatever. Oh no, something dropped. Oh, it's a puppy picture. Oh, this is e oh, this is so, Sarah. Is the puppy's name? Aiden sent you chocolate and chocolate. Oh, chocolate and more chocolate. And then leaves. Oh, cool for baby snakes. Yep. I'm gonna go shut the gate. Oh, oh wait, this what this is. The letter probably is here. Yep. yep there's a letter. <laughs> Aw, there's so many leaves in here. Ah, thank you, Hank. Kaden? Yes. Kaden. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Kaden. This is perfect for baby season this year because we're expecting a lot of babies, which you'll see soon in our breeding uh, plans video. She said Cheyenne doesn't sing because he has the answer. She has the answer. She sings because she has a song. You have a song. You sing because you a have song a song. song in her heart. Oh, what a good girl. <laughs> so this, I'm going to find right, the... I'm going to shut the gate. Okay, yeah, it's probably a good idea to shut the gate <laughs> and while, we're, while we're filming. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, dear Emily and Ed, don't read the things in brackets. Okay. All right. Uh, I absolutely love your channel. You guys are my idols, and I wish to grow up to be just like you. Aww. My name is Emmy. There we go. And I have a dog named Sarah. Dog named Sarah. And she has a Havanese Yorkie cross, and I love her so much. I have put in the package one penny, uh, a painting. Oh, this is a Canadian penny. I wonder if the pre 1981s. I'll have to look into Canadian pennies, or if any Canadians are watching who know if the 1980. Ones and older are the same thing. Yeah, we also need to know about the English penny. Yeah, and the ah. British pennies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Aw, uh, one day my promise, my parents promised that they would take me to your facility. Aw, oh, Emmy, I would love to meet you. She asks, what is the best starter bird? Because she, aw. Uh, cockatiel. She, yeah, cockatiel, for sure, is the best starter bird in our opinion. Aw, uh, and this is uh, what she drew. This is Cheyenne. Cheyenne, look, Emmy drew, or painted you. Not drew, she painted you. I may be plucked, but that doesn't mean I don't want to be spoiled. That's you in a nutshell. A walnut shell, because that's your favorite. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm going to put this here. This is beautiful, Emmy. And also, she asked if we could do a hognose morph video like the bull snake one. That'd be kind of cool. There's mm -hmm. a lot more morphs of hognose snakes than there are bull snakes. Yeah. So we probably wouldn't be able to do all of them in one, but that's a good idea. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if people would like the morph video or not, but I'm glad you did. Thank you, Emmy. Go down here. And then we have this from, oh, this is from Amazon. This is from Amazon, too. Is there a, okay, there's a book in here. Also, I, I haven't, I've been terrible at looking at questions. Oh, man. Uh, I'll keep an eye out. I'll try to be a little bit better at that. Whoa. Dwarf, oh, I know what this is. Dwarf came in crocodiles as oh, pets. No. What year did this come out? Dwarf came in facts, care, breeding, nutritional information, tips, husbandry, and more. Oh man, if this I hope this is from like the 80s. Uh 2017! That's wow. a new book! That is a wow. new book. Wow! Okay, well maybe the facts will be better. Maybe they'll be better. It has CITES information. It has it does actual like assumptions for how much a vet consultation will cost, so you can take into account vet bills, expenses overview for keeping them. This actually might be a good good book. All right. We'll have to read this one. I, again, there's some, I don't see a name in here. But if hopefully if you're watching, you see this because that's actually, a, it seems like a decent book. Mm -hmm. Well, cool. All right. Thank you. Yeah, but it's always nice to find more reading material. So Sophie got a snake. Sophie she got a snake. She guess what it is. Did she get a rough green snake? That's what I would guess. Rough green snake. She said, guess green snake, you're right. Green snake. Hopefully it's doing okay. No, rough green are, snake, yep. Yeah. Those are kind of tough to take care of in captivity, but they're cricket eaters. So if you get yeah. them established, they're Just good drew, snakes. Just a drawing of it. Oh, cool. Nice. Aw, that cute drawing. Congrats on your green snake. This is from the Denbo family. Denbo family, I believe, in Georgia. Oh, jeez. She also sent two giant oh. Pokemon cards. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice of her. Oh, and thank you for the Pokemon cards. I was about to open it, and then I saw this. It's, uh, Emily, let Ed open this. All right. Well, there you go, I there guess. Go. Oh, geez, that's really heavy. It is a heavy box, too, yeah. Oh. And then I have... 
I'll work on this one, I guess, since I'm not allowed to open that one. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Functional Creation in Georgia. I'm not sure if this is maybe a reuse box. Oh, here we go. My name is James, and I'm going to going into fifth grade. In this box, I sent play snakes of white diamonds. Oh, and a surprise. I hope you like it. P.S. What is your biggest snake? Currently, our heaviest one is probably Jupiter, our fat boa, and who you haven't met yet. We have to do a video about her. We're waiting until her new cage is uh, finished being built, and we're just going to move her straight into it, and then we'll show, we'll introduce you to her for the first time. And our longest snake is probably Noodle, our reticulated python. Oh, James sent the peanut butter m &Ms. The best flavor of m &Ms. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, oh and here are the diamond Elsie snakes. sent us a golden rock. Wow. With, with the milk snake on it. We can put that on the front ramp with all the mm -hmm. other painted rocks. Put that over here to do that yeah, later. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we, yeah. we kind of save all your painted rocks and they're out on our ramp right now for everyone to see as they walk in. FYI, don't be surprised if you see that when you come come over. Thank you for the M&Ms, James, and for the and for the snakes here. Oh, they're so cute. You know what? Where can these go? They can go on Umbreon's head. There we go. Oh, adorable. Cool. Thank you. Let's see. I'm going to put the note right here. And then, oh, this one's from Heidi in Ireland. Whoa. The, uh, See that one I'm doing it. Okay, just trying to figure out what all I can I have to cover up while I'm while I'm opening this. Okay, we're gonna open it like down here because there's addresses everywhere on this guy. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, don't judge me. Come on, Patricia. Work with me here. I don't want to show off the address, but it's from Heidi. I've got Ireland. Ah, there's so much tape. It came from so far away. <laughs> ah, eh. Okay. I'm gonna take this part out. This is gonna look like really awkward on camera. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. Oh, she said tato okay, chips. I'm gonna leave the box down there. Said what? Tato chips. Tato. Potatoes. Boiling. Tato. Oh, yeah, We've had okay. tato chips before. Have we? Cheese uh, and onion. Maybe we have had these ones before. It's been a long time though. Okay, dear Emily and Ed. My name is Ellie Rose. I am four years old. I love watching, I think your mom wrote this. I love watching your YouTube channel with my mom. I am hoping that one day I'll be able to get my own snake, mom said, my own snake. Mom says I have to be older as she's not a fan of snakes. And mom said, her mom said, I'm coming around to the idea slowly. Aww, cool, and they're in Ireland. Gosh, thank you, Ellie Rose. They sent some goodies from Ireland. Aww. Let's see. Oh, and their favorite snake was nearly headless Aww. Nick. Was... How would you pronounce that name? Eloise. Eloise, okay. Aww, Ellie Rose. Eloise sent us. Snippies. And also that. Oh my goodness. Cute. Should we try Tato's? Yeah. And they sent Haribo's giant straws. They're like strawberry gummies. Nice. Which one? Let's try the chips. <gasps> okay, I don't know which one to do. Uh, Cheese and onions. Onion. Or smoky bacon. Like that. Here you go. <laughs> Which one? Bacon uh, or cheese and onion? Bacon is always weird tasting when it's like that. So cheese and onion. Cheese and onion. Okay, we'll try the bacon one later. You have to figure out a way to clean up here. Yeah, we do. Stuff is kind of everywhere. I don't mean for it to be everywhere, <laughs> but it just kind of is. Okay, I'm gonna try the cheese and onion. Right? Cheese and onion potatoes. Is this an Irish thing? Oh, they smell funny. Oh, but they taste great. This is delicious. Yeah, tato chips are amazing. We've had wow. them before. Mmm. Yep, I'll just eat all of these right now. Oh, you've got that box? Yeah. That one's just asking to be macheted. Here we go. What? It's open. Hey, perfect. Didn't break oh, anything. Oh, yeah, everything's either. fine. Everything's fine. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Mmm. Ugh. We got nuts. Whoa, you can't use in here? Oh, I think there's a squeaky toy in there. Ah! Oh. Squeaky Rex. What do you think, Cheyenne? Hey, what is that? Whoa. Swizzles Parma Violets. 
purple candies? They look like uh, Smarties. They do look like Smarties. Well, English or American Smarties. Parma Violets? What are these? They taste just like Smarties too, except not as sweet. No, they're just Smarties. Weird. I think their Smarties only come in one color. Purple. It's oh, like it's a Squirtle. Squirtle that's Can't not real you're... Squirtle. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I want to eat all these chips, but I'm going to hold off for now. Hold off for now. Okay. Uh, who is that from? Uh, Faith. Faith from uh, the United Kingdom. From Faith. Cool. Thank you for the goodies, Faith. Diane isn't sure what to think of the Rex toy. We got nerds from hey, Faith, too. Wow, all sorts of candies. Got a snake discovery notebook. Oh, that's cool. Are there like dog eared pages? We can use it for notes here. Yeah. Nice, we can stick it in one of the drawers. There we go. It's going to go right here. There you go. In the first aid and notebook drawer now. Perfect. <laughs> Mine's from Lindley in Oklahoma. This is. Let's see if I can find a note yes. here. Oh, cool. That's I'm really cool. Out of room. Hi, my name is Lindley, and I am nine years old. I love your YouTube channel. I don't wow. have any reptiles, but I have two dogs. Uh, I well, I had three, but one passed. I'm sorry, Lindley, for losing one of your puppies. Uh, I hope you. Uh, I hope you love your gift. And whoa, did you did you make this? That's beautiful, Lindley. Wow, there's also chocolate in here. Ed's making lots of noises. Sorry. <laughs> well, there's dark chocolate, like dark chocolate from another country. Oh, in Germany. Ooh. Okay. I'll uh, I'll partake. I'll try some of this. Some of the chocolate from Lindley. Eh. This looks great. Cheyenne Graf says hi. Graf says hi. You can't have the chocolate. Wow, that's really good. Mmm. Thank you. Uh, I love this. Atticus, happy 19th. Whoa, what did I just hit? I don't know. Did you break something? There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Atticus just turned 19, so happy nice. birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, Hi, Stormy. Thank you so much. This is from I'm going to try to do while you're opening that. Right. Um, McKenna asks, is an iguana a good pet? Mm -hmm. If it's your first reptile, I probably wouldn't do an iguana. They can be really uh, hormonal <laughs> during certain times of the year. They can tail whip. They need a ton of space. So if you're looking for a really good lizard, I'd recommend a bearded dragon. Those are a great starter li lizard. Or a crested gecko. Those are awesome, too. This is from Caroline in Ohio. Oh, Caroline sent... Oh, cute! Rex as a... Uh, um, what's the term uh, for this type of... Oh, maybe that's just, I was thinking maybe something else. But yeah, Anime Rex. We'll go with that. Oh, is that Rex? Yeah. Isn't that oh, cute? Okay. It's Anime Rex. It's Anime Ed. Oh, I like how I'm crying. Because <laughs> I'm throwing a bracelet at oh, you. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and then we also have Fred the Sassy Bull Snake. I like it. <laughs> yep. Nice. Thank you, Caroline. There's also, oh, I think, a letter in here. Let's see if I can open this up. Hi, my name is Caroline. I sent you chocolate Pokemon cards and Gotcha Life. Gotcha. Yep, oh, everybody's that's what saying that that's what that is. Oh, thank you guys. Yep, must be Gotcha. I think there was, was there one more? Did I miss one? G-A-C-H-A. Oh, yeah, there's me. Yeah, I'm, oh my gosh. And Cheyenne. How did you miss Cheyenne? I don't know. Cheyenne. Look at you. Isn't that pretty? Oh, what do you think? Oh, she's like staring right at it. That's adorable. It's gonna go in my art pile, so if I find more magnets, I can put that up there. There you go. Question, have you ever had a hamster? I did have a hamster when I was in fifth grade, I think. Her name was Cuddles and she bit. I did not have a hamster because my sister had one that bit. So. Oh yeah, see, <laughs> didn't have very good experiences with hamsters, but they can make really good pets still. See, I think Caroline, I thought there was something else in here. Oh, there is. Caroline also sends Chocolate covered Oreos and chocolate covered pretzels. Ooh. Ed's favorite. Should we try an Oreo? Sure. <sighs> Audrey sent us some watercolors. Oh, pretty. Those 
those are really pretty. Yeah. And Good job, Audrey. Some hides. Nice. Pretty sure that's what a, those are. A gecko hide? Yep. And then a Joy Kinder Eggs. Oh! Mmm. Wow. This is very good. So you can't have it. You should try a bite. Chocolate covered Oreo are god tier. Are god tier? What? Some of you say God? Oh. Is that. What's god tier? Probably amazing. Oh, okay. Is what they meant by it? Maybe it's. I'm too old to understand you what probably it means. are. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Yep. I'm going to take all of these. Oh, Thank you, Caroline. These are all going to be mine and not Edge. Nope, not yours either. You can't have chocolate. So, mm. Lola Bunny, 85. She said she's probably our oldest fan and at 36. Mm. We've met some fans who are like 75 and 80 years old. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> really you're not like, old at 36. It's really humbling. <laughs> Would we ever think of getting a hypoallergenic dog? I think if we were to get a dog, I would just get a dog. Have think, Emily get used to it. I think my body would adjust because it has before for uh, cats. So I feel like it would. It also for, did for my old dogs. Yeah, I did kind of adjust, and my body got used to your English setters. Yep. So uh, we would probably, if and when, long in the future, we get a dog, it would be an English setter because I know Ed really likes them. Uh, would you get a field trial or a show trial with the feathers? I mean, it's either between that or an Australian Shepherd. But True, yeah. I'd yeah. probably do show because I wouldn't take them hunting like they probably need to be yeah. for the field trial. There you go. But I won't do that until we get a bigger house. Yeah, yeah. Definitely need a bigger house. Okay, I'm going to set you here for now. just want to open up some face. Rex is up. not at the facility, so she cannot come out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Rex is at home. I want her to live here. I'm ready to move her out. We actually had the glass guys in today working on some things, so hopefully that's mm -hmm. sooner rather than later. Oh, let's hope. Whoa. What in the world is going on with this one? There's all sorts of stuff in there. Whoa, it's such a colorful box. This is from Eden in Massachusetts. Or, sorry, uh, Missouri. No, that's M-O. M-S. Um, Massachusetts? M-A is Massachusetts, isn't it? Mississippi? Oh, it might be Mississippi. What's I, MS, everybody? What's MS? What's the state? State I, code. This is actually really embarrassing. I should know that. But I always mix up the M's because, yeah. Anyway. We uh, got a lot of clay figures from, from someone with no note. There's no note in there? No. Oh. And then a little jewel to go on top. Uh, Mississippi. Yep, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Miranda. Okay, uh, from Eden. Whoa, this is... Goodies from a local artist, or maybe just her card is in here? Let's see what Eden sent here. Oh my goodness, there's quite a letter. Here's the letter. My name is Eden. We started looking online for snake breeders since your waiting list was full. My mom, uh, every night at bedtime, my mom reads me a book and we watch a couple of your videos. My, let's see, uh, now we have two corn snakes. My big sister cried when the snakes came in the mail. I'm, she's okay with them now. She'll even hold mine for a few seconds. Aw, that's cool. <laughs> so they're noticing their corn snake twitches a lot and rocks back and forth when he's held. We call it dancing. Do you know why he might do that? If it's like kind of like big movement, uh, twitching back and forth, it might be him just trying to get away from you, but that should uh, lessen as he ages and he's not in a prey size anymore. Corn snakes definitely calm down with age. Um, that'd be my guess is that he's just feeling, feeling a little oh, oh, uncomfortable. Aw, my goodness, there's all sorts of stuff on here. So this is from their from their store, I believe. Sorry, I'm trying to like read quickly hey. here. Uh, happy birthday, Chloe. Hey, happy birthday, Chloe. You have the same name as our snapping turtle. Eden wanted to send you all some happies. We took this as an opportunity to share our small Gulf Coast, Mississippi town with you. Ocean Springs is known for its arts. If you ever get a chance to visit, you will not be disappointed. Oh, okay. Oh, and there's pictures of the kiddos. Oh, Eden, you're adorable. I can't show the camera because it's YouTube, but you're adorable. Oh, she's got the coloring book. She's got her coloring book. That's super cute. Happy so, early birthday, Melissa. Nice. Happy early birthday. So there are goodies from their shop, I believe. Let's see. I may have to read part of this again while you're opening yours. Okay. I'm going to try and find a note. Otherwise, oh wow, there's a lot of chocolate, and okay, well, oh, there's a note. 
I got something uh, from. I see. Beth and Grace. <laughs> Beth and Grace? Yep. Aw. So these from, from Eden and her family, they walked downtown in their town in Mississippi because it's known for arts or oh, for cool. its arts. So they went to several boutique shops downtown that showcase local artists to get this stuff. So this is, oh man, what is in here? Walter Anderson prints water, watercolored by a local artist. Wow. Oh, Lillian, we already watched uh, My Hero Academy. <laughs> oh, did she spoil her something? <laughs> no, she's just like, I recommend they watch My Hero Academy. Oh, yeah. We're not done with My Hero <laughs> no, uh, Academia. We're one, series, one season behind. One season behind. No spoilers. <laughs> yeah. That is really pretty. So this is from uh, waltandersonart.com. It's a watercolor from a local artist in Mississippi. And whoa. Look at that. Holy cow. Walter is a talented guy. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can open this too. Look at all of these. I love his style. Gosh, there's so many. And then, oh cool. So we've got like the bookmark and the card. So these could be, I could like mail these to family. Cool. Wow, Eden, that was a really sweet gift of you to send. And from local artists too. Again, this is from WalterAndersonArt.com, so maybe go check out his other artwork. What do you... Whoa! So Beth and Grace, from Beth and Grace Place at YouTube, sent us these. Aww! Mice chasing cheese, <laughs> mice chasing cheese, and a snake discovery one. That's cute! So if you want to go check them wow. out. Wow! They, they put a lot of work into those. They also sent you Dove. Oh! Wow, and this is from fruit, Grace and Beth. Fruit Smiles. Fruit Smiles. Oh, I remember those from like my childhood. They still yeah. make those. Yeah, I guess. Like the fruit or the smiley oh, face the smiley... gummies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the chocolate. Thank you. Thank you, Beth. Beth and Grace. Beth and Grace. Yep. It's funny. My sisters are Bethany and Grace. Oh my gosh, I didn't think about that. I know. You're completely right. I did a double take when you said their names. <laughs> Maybe it's actually them. Yeah, two of my five siblings <laughs> are Bethany and Grace. This is another one of the our our downtown like boutiques. This is a painted turtle on a local oyster shell. And this is from Poppies, which is a cute little shop filled with local art and more, which is facebook.com slash shop poppies. That's beautiful. Wow, and that's like, that's an original and all that too. Well, I mean, I guess I don't know how it could not be a, a, an original, but that's beautiful. Thank you, Jessica and Eden. This was very thoughtful of you. That was so nice of you to like shop around. We're always gonna promote small businesses and artists whenever we can. Thank you. Is that you down there? Oh, that's nope. a big box. I'm on a note. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to find the note. I'll let you I... keep looking then. There it is. Uh, uh, so she will have a place to hang out at the office from John Taylor. That's what the note says. Said, so she'll have a place yep. to hang out at the office? Is it for Cheyenne? Uh, it might be. Huh. This is from, trying to find a name. From Poppy in the UK. Aw, God, nice. We can go fishing. Oh, nice. It's a lure. Is this a musky lure? I don't. Is that a is that a bed for Allie? I don't know. I, I think it might be. Was this sent after her video came out? Oh, uh, I can't. Yeah, uh, I don't see a date. September 16th, 2020, so no. No, we didn't have Allie by then. Large size bird snuggy hut nest. Oh, I bet it's for Cheyenne. It's totally for Cheyenne. It's totally for Cheyenne. Here, look at this. Want to go in? <laughs> She's like, what the heck? <laughs> hang on, hang on. We need to try this out. You hold it up. I could just set her in it. <laughs> there you go. Goodbye. Enjoy the box. I don't think she likes it. Yay! Good girl! <laughs> She pinned. We're good. We're yep, good. She pinned. She's happy. Maybe we could use that for Allie, though, if you yep. don't mind, since Cheyenne's tail might be kind of tough to wrap. It's a little small for a macaw. Yeah, but this would be perfect for Allie. If you don't mind us using it for her, we could totally use it as a little, like, office hideout for her. Yeah. Look! Wanna go in? Go in, go in, go in, go in. Yeah, she's like, no, Mom, stop making me. <laughs> That's really cute. Thank you for it. I hope you don't mind that... We might be using it for a different animal because I don't think Cheyenne would fit. But we'll definitely put it to good use. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm gonna hand you this oh. one to open. Oh, that big box. In this. Yeah. Okay. We have, have a huge box from Isabel in where is she from? California. California. In California. Hollister, California. Nice. I don't Hollister, know that, where is it? The, the shoe, the the clothing, clothing line, line came from. Yeah, I think it might be. I see. Well, Ready? it's getting. Oh, yep. don't throw it! Oh my gosh! Oh. Okay. Okay. We're all right. It's okay. Okay, so this, uh, let me finish this from Poppy. I believe she sent something else in here too, Ugh, if I can get it. There is a note from Poppy who lives in the UK, okay? Just to make it, just make that clear. And this is, oh, it's a, I see. It's a, oh no! Oh, it was just taped. It's a name tag for Cheyenne, the sass queen. Here go. Oh, the sass queen! Oh, it's so perfect! All right, cool. We'll leave that on here. Thank you, Poppy. I love it. Okay, should I open this big guy? It Go is it. pouring out. Yeah, it is really raining out there. Wow, is it wet. Okay, well, let's open the big one from Isabel. Isabel? I believe it was Isabel. What are your favorite heroes in My Hero Academia? Oh, well, it's, uh, I can't remember her name. The girl who floats. Oh. Uh, and the frog girl. Oh yeah. Uh, she's great too. I cannot think. We we haven't watched the show in probably about a year now. So yeah, it's been a while since we watched the show because we got really busy at the facility. Yep. But we do still like the show. We will I'm finish sure it. I'm sure people will be telling us here. Yeah. Yes, I could use help with the oh, name. Here we go. Oh, never mind. Okay. Line up the shot. So, uh. Uraka and Sue? Uraka? Ah. Isabel! I am so afraid of what you're doing. Oh my gosh! There's so much tape on this! Ah. Oh man! Ah. Okay, I got it. We're good. Ah. Isabel. Oh, Cheyenne toys! Look! Cardboard! It's cardboard for you! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Get it. Good job! Here, get it, get it! You hear the helicopter above us? Get it! Or throw it, that works too. Okay, that's gonna be for you. I can totally make bird toys out of the uh, packing material in here. Okay, I do want to verify that this is from Isabel. Duraka. Duraka? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Somebody's telling me how to pronounce it. I guess we haven't watched the show in like... We haven't time. watched it in a while. Styrofoam, okay, okay. Lots of packaging in this guy. Lots of packaging, for sure. Oh my gosh. There's banana chips in here. I think these are for Cheyenne. Cheyenne! A lot of stuff in that box. Yeah, Isabel sent a ton. Cheyenne, do you want to try a banana chip? I know you like these. Oh, that's one? cool. There's a, there is sugar, so you can only have one. But, oh wow, she does like it. She's actually not taking a lot of treats today, because she's, there's a lot going on. But, is that good? Say, mmm. Oh, she pinned. Yep, she likes it. Thank you, Isabel. I'm pretty sure his name's Oscar, but it's spelled O-S-K-A-R. I have some Oscar. He sent some money over from the archaeology lab in St. Cloud State University. Whoa, really? Yeah. Something from the archaeology? Yeah, he just sent, some, he sent a super chat from the archaeology oh. lab oh my at St. Cloud University. Wow, that was really nice of you. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, Oscar. Oscar with o -S -K -A -R. a K. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Wow. Thank you, Jennifer from Atlanta. Uh, and then Toe Nibbler. Toe Nibbler? <laughs> really? Have either of you ever owned chickens? We had one chicken. His name was Gurr, and he was a white silky. He was amazing. He, we kept him with the quail that Ed raised up. We just yep. it was just the one chicken. He would yep. he would we'd bring him places with us and give him baths and uh -huh. like blow dry him off and stuff like that. That's a lot of places to put Pokemon uh, cards. Yeah, Isabel, did you send this for all the cards we get? We'll finally have a place to put them. Oh my gosh, I'm hoping to find a letter in here. Oh, I found this. Oh, I have a feeling this is gonna take a while to to, to unwrap because I do not want to break whatever's in here. There is something special inside. Well, see if I can Lily get it. Lily sent us a picture of Cheyenne. It's actually a really good drawing. Oh, that's what she looks like right now, too. Yeah. She's got a She's treat in her foot. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. Well, it smells good. It smells really good. Why? It's a stick, I think. How can a stick smell so good? Oh. Ah! Sorry! There's a lot of tape! I'll get there! Is well, we it... also spent sent a clay figurine of Rex. Oh, cute! Lily made that? Yep. Cute! You did a good job, Lily! That looks just like Rex! You got the stripes! He also sent some surprise Kinder Eggs. Ooh! Yeah. Nice! Put that there. Oh, that's cool. And some... It is a stick! Coffee crisps and arrow. Which one do you want to try? I think we've had the coffee crisp. Do you want to try arrow? Let's try arrow, yeah. yeah. I think... I can't wait to find a note in here. This big old box. Isabel. Oh, E.V. Funko Pop. Look at that! Nice! That's so cool! Aw, you put like a little bit of everything in here. That's really cute. There's... There you go. Oh, nuts mm. for Cheyenne? This is Arrow? Mm-hmm. It's like a bunch of little little air pockets. Oh, Arrow. Yeah, that makes sense. Duh, Emily. <laughs> for Canada, Canada pennies are copper till 1996. Oh. Thank you, Jules. What? 1996, they're 1996, copper? 1996, yep. Oh, so those pennies will work. Yep. Oh, thank you, Jules. That's great to know. Right. A letter! Finally found a letter from Isabel and her family. Hi, my name is Isabel, and I am 10 years old, and I live in Hollister, Cal uh, California. No last name, so we're good. Uh, I, I'm a level 6 gymnast. Ooh, that's cool. Thank you for your awesome videos. Keep up the good work. I hope you like the gifts. The Pokemon cards are from my brother's... Pokemon cards? Oh, just, oh I see them. From my brother, Samuel. The EV is for your collection. The... Aww... Oh. The Jolly Ball is for Rex. The banana chips and nuts are for Cheyenne. I uh, hope she enjoys them also. She is already eating the banana chips. And the binder is for all your Pokemon cards, if not some of them, because I know you get a lot. There's also a hide and a branch for your snakes, geckos, or frogs. Isabel? Wow. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. And there's a P.S. Are you guys going to have a baby? Human, not a snake. Our yard isn't big enough for one, so we're probably not going to have a human baby. But thank you so much, Isabel, for this. Oh, Rex is going to go bonkers over this. This is perfect. It's like that tough material, too. We can, like, give her this, and I think we have another Jolly Ball we're saving for her yep. for when she moves. So she can have one to destroy and another one to kind of bat around. That's cool. Thank you, Isabel. Okay, so someone wants to know how the snakes are doing after the move to the shop. The snakes are doing great after the move. We've actually been pairing them up lately, and we've been very successful at pairing them, too. They're, they don't seem phased at all by the move. I think it helps that they're being kept in the same racking system for now, so we'll see when they move into their display enclosures how they do. But, uh, holy cow. But yeah, they're they are doing great so far. Definitely. Ugh. This is over here. There's also this. And actually, I've been trying to find good branches and decorate decorations that are, like, sturdy for some of our smaller reptiles. So this is perfect. No, I was just about to say, so I'm reading this note from Olivia, and I'm like, wow, Olivia's only 11, and she has much better handwriting than I do at 30. And then I looked <laughs> at the bottom and says, my mom wrote this because my handwriting is sloppy. So good job, Olivia's mom. You have really good handwriting. Yeah, I guess you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And we got oh, Olivia you. sent us dark chocolate. That's the same bar that I just tried. Is it oh, good? Yes. It was delicious. Holy yeah. moly. Oh, what are they Wow. Eyes? Okay. Um, um, oh. Yeah, Olivia, just, right? Just, yeah. Spelled with an A. Olivia. And then. Oh, why? And then. Oh. Oh my gosh! Coffee. Hey, coffee! And a snake. What? A beanie baby snake. How did you first off fit so much wow. in my box? Holy moly, what? Olivia. I don't even know what to say. How do we start? What do we start I guess with? Find one that you've never had and huh? give it a shot. Coffee! Thank you! Okay, Olivia, I think we're gonna try. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, the, the German chocolate. German chocolate? So cream, oh that has like a cream filling, toffee crunch, dark hazelnut crisp, coffee and cream. Okay, we're trying that one right oh, away. Oh, the dark chili one. Ooh, she dark chili. Said, uh, chili one. And dark sea salt caramel and caramel brownie cream. Okay. 
I don't know. This is overwhelming. This is a lot of chocolate. I want to eat all of it. But I'm going to start with just this. That's what I'll do. I'll pace myself, Olivia. Okay, I'll just have this for now, and then I'll eat the rest for dinner. Okay. Oh. This is not coffee here. This smell like coffee. Is it from this? Maybe it's just that, yeah. That smells kind of like coffee. Uh, this apparently is from Melanie Clark. She oh. said, enjoy your gift. Oh. Yep. All right, let's see. So we got... Oh. Marshall asked... Oh, that's why it smells like What? Oh, nice. Okay. Hang on. Marshall asked, uh, they're from, he's from Florida. We want to come visit and stock up for all of our snakes when you open. How about RV parking? Oh. I, um, we have a big parking lot. We also have a parking lot down the road just a teeny bit that's not being used by anybody. Yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to find a spot for you to park overnight. So yeah. that should be okay. Because we do have the parking lot in back. Yeah, yeah. So I think it would be okay. Maybe yeah. not the grand opening uh, weekend. Yeah. That one might be crazy. But any other weekend should be just fine. Yeah. Or night at, at all. So <laughs> Melanie cool Clark it. sent you four different kinds of chocolate. Or chocolate. Coffee. What? Melanie? Yeah. Whoa. And they look Whoa. like... Fancy oh my gosh. chocolate or God. coffees? Chocolate You're calling coffee, them all chocolate chocolates? Coffee, chocolate coffee. <laughs> Whoa, Melanie. A more gratitude, Valentia, and Allegra. Yeah, we definitely need the coffee maker on or something. Yeah. Oh. Maybe we'll have to show can... off like in a Patreon, free Patreon update. So yeah, everybody a can public see one, it. so public everyone. One. We'll all the coffee. All the coffee. Trying coffees. That'd be so cool. Wow. I just want to smell. The coffee all day. Melanie, you didn't have to do this. That's insane. I'm gonna love this. Then, but you guys don't have to send coffee. Melanie also sent uh, a tin full of Pokemon cards. Oh my god. Oh, okay, it's just one. Okay, okay. But still, I'm gonna and try then, this coffee chocolate. Oh. So like a small Ooh. little deck of cards. Aw. I love the tin it comes in. Yeah. And then a sun and moon deck. Mmm. Wow, that's very good chocolate. Which we'll have to open a little bit later. Maybe we'll do like a, another free Patreon thing, just opening up all the cards we got. That'd be good, opening all the cards. And we'll have to do a free Patreon video of trying the coffees, because we can't hear. But I want to try them and share experiences with you. Yeah. That's so nice of you to send... Yeah, Melanie, Gosh. that's insane. Thank you, Melanie. Wow, thank you again, Olivia, for this chocolate. Mmm, that's really good chocolate, too. Yeah. Okay. Need more monster. Not really reptile related, but Emily, do you work out? <laughs> oh. You look healthy and lovely. Oh. Emily does not work Thank out. You. She's just Fiona. naturally skinny yeah, yeah. and, and we'll pretend you I got do. good genes from your parents. Oh yeah, I definitely got lucky. <laughs> Having a fast metabolism. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I'm gonna put that there. I used to work out until our gym was closed. Yeah, our gym is currently closed. Yeah. So now I work out by coming here. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of work here, too, so... Yeah, there's a lot to do all the time here at the facility. A lot of inventory. Products going on shelves, building shelves, making enclosures. But it's getting there! What do you think, Shayan? Oh, sticky? That's sticky out yeah, here. Steep! Ah, oh, okay. And then I have one more in this package. Braden is... sent us some cool snakes. Oh, cool! It's like a carved snake figurine. Oh, cool. He made like a, a it's like a one coming out of the egg. Woo! Yeah. That's so cool. That's realistic, too. Yeah. And it's some, got like the folds in the egg. Some artwork. Aw. Thank Woo. you, Brayden. Thank you, Brayden. That was nice of you. Okay. This is from Kemp in West Virginia. Kemp sent. Oh, open me first. We've got, oh my gosh. Got, oh. Hi, my name is Kent, and I love your channel and your snakes. And if I breed my snakes, would you? Oh, would you like one? They are corn snakes. That's so cool. I just, I just hope you're successful breeding corn snakes. That's really, that's cool a name. very like rewarding Kemp. project. Yeah, Kemp. Yeah. That's a cool name. Kind of like Camp Cannon, yeah. but like if you combined the two. Oh. Kemp he, Cannon. Kemp Cannon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he sent a cobra in. Kemp sent you a cobra and and a Pikachu. Really? And a Pikachu. Look at the Pikachu. He's showing. Me. Oh. Okay. And Dude, then. Shane's being ungrateful over here. Yeah. There's all, there's more figurines in here, and I'm really curious as to what this is. Oh, shiny snake. Oh, it's oh, cool. Changes color. It's like the snake we recently just got. 
and filmed today. Yeah, the one from Time. Yeah, the one from Time. Mm -hmm. We have a really cool snake that looks like that. That. We're not going to tell you anymore, yeah, that's, though. because that's, that's going to come out in like probably two, two weeks, weeks. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, that's about how far ahead we are anyway. So yeah, she just came in today. Whoo, she's a beautiful snake. You'll get to see her soon. Thank you so much, Kemp. That's really cute. I'm gonna try to move some of these over to this side. And let's see, this is gonna go here. You're very generous, Kemp, thank you. Okay, uh, this one is empty, so I'm going to grab more. Whoa, that's, everything's gonna fall if I pick that up. Um, I can, if you wanna take these, I can bring you some more over. Who sent me this? Why am I opening it like without looking at the note first? I'm gonna move some of these things to in here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make some chocolate go over here. You're gonna clean then, up? Yeah, I'm gonna clean a little bit, I think. Oh, I love this girdle. I can go here. This can go here. Got chocolate here. You guys send us so much chocolate. Sometimes I see comments from people saying, I bet whenever they just need more chocolate, they open more fan mail. And it's absolutely true. Sometimes happens. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes, you know, I'm craving the specific thing, but we are always excited to try new things. Like I'm really eyeing up this caramel, caramel, caramel brownie cream fudge bar. Oh my gosh. You guys are really nice. Thank you. Oh, there's a note. And there's coffee. Oh my gosh. I need more coffee. To Kukri in Discord. Deanaria, De Nira, De Nira sent us some sweet drawings. Ooh, really? De Nira? De Nira. De Nira. And then That's a beautiful some name, cool De Nira. Rex. Oh, oh my gosh, this is adorable. Look at the big eyes. <laughs> I love it. De Arena. I don't remember that name. Day Arena. Day Arena. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, Rex with big eyes can go <laughs> right there. there you go. It's like Gecko Rex. That's a cool one. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's really light. There's another one. Ah! Don't throw things at me. There's another one. Ah! No, this one's happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one I will open. Do the white this. one first. The white one first? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of already open, so I got to see what's in it. Oh. Okay. This is from. Doesn't say from Ohio. Is, is, oh my gosh! This is what I see looking back at me when I open up this package. Pikachu! That's Detective, Detective Pikachu. Pikachu! Oh my gosh! Detective Pikachu! It's Ryan Reynolds. It is. Oh, Ryan Reynolds did such a good job on this movie. I love Detective Pikachu. That's so cute. Okay, there's a letter in here I want to read. Oh, let's see. Oh, and you even drew our logo. I also want a name to be able to thank someone. This is from Valerie. Valerie sent Pikachu. I really love your channel and all of your videos. I'm really excited to send this letter. Uh, I uh, admire, admire the stuff you guys, oh, admire the stuff you guys do and love the way you take care of your animals. My favorite animal is Rex. No offense, Cheyenne. It actually says that. No offense, Cheyenne. <laughs> Sorry. Valerie likes Rex more than you. Can a lot we? of people like Rex more than Yeah, Cheyenne. we like Rex more than, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ed, please be in more videos. Uh, I know. Want to or take take care and have fun with more animals like you guys do. Oh, thank you, Valerie. I love Detective Pikachu. He can go on our couch with all the other Pokemon plushies. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's totally gonna he, go he on the couch. He can join the little pan game too. Oh, did you explain the pan game nope. yet? Whoops. I dropped something there. So lately, and I think only two, maybe only one video has come out with it maybe. so far. I think only one There's was something the in the background. Was yeah. it a regurge video? It was the regurge video. We started doing something kind of fun. I don't know why we started doing this, but we've taken the uh, Pokemon plushies you've given us, given us, and we made kind of a survivor survivor scene going on behind us. And every video we film that's in the kitchen, there's going to be one less one less Pokemon is. that is viewed because it'll be in the pan in the previous episode. Yep. So who will be the strongest? The, champ. the champion. Who knows? You'll have to uh, keep an eye out on those videos. We'll have to make sure that we post them in order. That's a good question. Ed, how does it feel to have given up your job to do something you really want to do? Whoa, I mean, who asked that? That's uh, a great question. Oh, it was way up here. Was it? Um, wow. Elsmenza? Hi, Magdalena. Elsmenza. Oh, Elsmenza. That's a great question. Uh, it's really great. Uh, the only problem is I work twice as hard now. <laughs> 
He does work really hard. <laughs> so I've gone from working to working harder. Oh but I really like what I do, so... That's yeah, good. Exactly. Yeah, it is rewarding work, because we get to see this being built. And yep. now, instead of working for another business... Yeah, instead of making company, another business money, I might as well make it my own business money. Yeah, exactly. And eventually, we won't have to work as hard as we do, because it'll be up and running and functional and love employees. And we just have to keep looking at that light at the end of the tunnel when everything is fluidly moving again. Or at all, because <laughs> we haven't opened yet. But we're getting close, guys. We're getting close. Oh my god. I have never been, we've never been bitten by a venomous species of snake. Uh, however, my dog has. Uh, about 15 years ago, I had an English setter who always got into everything. Mm -hmm. And she was rooting around in a wood pile down in Florida. And she came out and she was yelping. And then she went back into the wood pile and she came out yelping. And we got over there. Yep. And she had two little holes on this side of her muzzle and two little holes on this side of her muzzle. We went to the vet right away because it started swelling up, and the vet went, it's probably a pygmy rattlesnake because she's not dead yet, Yeah. but here's Benadryl. There's no way we can get uh, anti-venom in time to this spot, so here's Benadryl, yep. and if she makes it, she makes it, and I was like, okay, and then she swelled up to be twice the size of her normal face, yep. and she was all better by the morning. Yeah, she, she overcame it just fine. Yeah, she was perfectly fine. Yeah. She looked at me like... Why did I do this when <laughs> she was bit? But do you remember Shadow Viz Drake, the person who made the um, like replica enclosures, yes. and they're on our fish tank yep, now? Yep, yep. It looks like they made more. Oh wow! A lot more. A lot more. Oh my gosh! A lot more. Ah. Oh, okay, I'm going to very carefully open this. Okay. Uh, who is this? I don't miss anything. Oh. We even have the cabinet. Oh my gosh. I need a box to set these on. We've got that. Oh, they made a rack. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it, it, the drawers work. Oh, uh, aloe? Aloe? Okay. And okay. aloe? Yeah. I've never heard of a name aloe before, but I like it. Aloe wants to know, do you uh, like snakes or macaws better? Oh, don't make me choose between snakes and macaws. <laughs> My favorite color is orange, by the way. I don't know. It depends on the snake and it depends on the macaw, because uh, I might change my answer. Look, it's a baby Yoda. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at this, the drawers. Oh, thank my you, Ello. gosh, thank you, Ella. This is from Shadow. Wow, so they got the bedding in there in the caves. Wow, look at all these. Hopefully you're able to see these. I like it. That handle came off. I might have to glue that handle back, back on. Ah. Wow, this is a really pretty ah. package. Each drawer is a different one of our snakes. That must have taken so long. You even did purple handles, like the rack at, er, and now, now I was going to say at home, but now it's in the back. And they made, is this, I'm trying to figure out which animal. This one must be the Timor monitors. It's the Timor monitors. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to take some time and just tediously open up all of these. I think that goes there. Oh my gosh. What? I'd rather not. We'd love to have you come out to the facility. We'll get you over your fear of snakes. Who's? Oh, I'd rather not? Yep. Aw, uh, that'd said, be cool. They to said work they're, the... they're scared of snakes, but love everything we do on the channel. Oh, well, thanks for watching our videos, even though you're scared of snakes. I mean, huge kudos for that. Who is this? Uh, best of luck, Ratsu? Ratsui? Uh, Ratso... Ratsoi? Ratsoi. Uh, on your Spadefoot project and your Tomato Frog project. That's awesome. Oh, wow. You're breeding them? Yeah. That's cool. They included the Decay's brown snake enclosure with their shell for a hide. Oh, my gosh. There's a ton in here. They're, like, everywhere. They made... Oh, my gosh. Down. That side is down. Don't turn upside down is what this note says. Okay. Good point. Okay, I'll turn it that way. If you had to get rid of one animal, which would it be? Get rid of an animal? Yeah. Who is Emily's least favorite animal? My least favorite animal. Mine would be probably Curly Fry. He's curly beautiful, Fry? beautiful, but he bites. Oh, he's gorgeous. Oh, he's part of the family. He does have a name. Yeah. I don't know who I would get rid of. I would of. get rid of all of our baby snakes this year. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> yep, that's what we would do. That's what we would do. Oh my gosh! Okay, I feel like I'm not going to be able to give this the justice it deserves. 
because I don't want this to be rushed opening all these. So I might open these off camera afterwards so that I can really look at all the detail you put into all these because each drawer pulls out and has a habitat inside of it with a different snake of ours in there and it's all handmade. And we're gonna have, to, we'll definitely put these next to the other ones you gave us, which we keep them on top of our fish tank, actually. I kind of arrange them all so they look really nice. But I can't even imagine how many hours these must take to put together. Wow, and I definitely don't want to skim over it. So I'm going to open these, I think, after the stream so that I can really look at all the effort you put into them. Wow, That's Shadow. Amazing. This is incredible. So I'm going to save these. I'll put them, uh, I'm going to put them with this one all over here. I'll be right back. So Caitlin, I don't know where she's from, but Caitlin basically made this guy for us, which is a duck egg Whoa. that she painted with Wisconsin uh, wildflowers and a corn snake. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Wisconsin wildflowers, huh? Yeah. Nice. She also drew us. Whoa, she made our portraits. Yeah. Wow. I know I've had me. long hair for a long time when you guys start making portraits of me with long hair. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> this is from... Thank you, Caitlin. Yeah, Caitlin, really. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Good We're going to have to figure out those. a way to display it. We could like put it next to the ostrich yeah, egg the in a little ostrich. stand. Well, you have that puzzle ball thing that came with the stand. Just use the stand for that. Yeah, that'd turn work. Around. That'd yeah, be perfect I'll make sure for that. I put this back in and we bring that home. Okay. Ugh. Okay, this is from Tanya in Michigan. Ugh. I probably should get a smaller knife for these types of things. That's okay. I was just kidding. gonna slice this. Eee! There we go, it worked. All right, cool. Tanya yeah. sent a letter. What are so you giggling about? Emily sent you a super chat that says, hey Emily, I'm Emily as well. I oh. feel like a mini you, but Australian. Oh, great name, <laughs> Emily. That's awesome. Uh, and we totally want to go to Australia and hurt for our venomous yes. stuff. We would love to go to Australia. That is on the bucket list. It is. It will be relatively Within the next couple of years, we're going to go Hopefully in the next couple of years, we'll go to Australia. That'd be once like, this is up and running for a while. Yeah. I would love to do that, for sure. That is the next big trip we're going to go on. From Tanya, she says, uh, I enjoy snakes, mostly garter snakes. In fact, I have an albino head granite. We also have a cat named Shep uh, to match our three border collies. Uh, let's see, I have a book for you. It's called Dragon's Dawn, a tale of humans arriving at a planet and finding there's some unlikely little lizards that help to build their new home. This, this book is part of a series called The Dragon Riders of Pem. Ah, huh. interesting. Is that Tanya? What is this? And they sent <gasps> chocolate. Oh, Abdallah. Abdullah? Abdallah? How do you pronounce that one? Uh, I, I've seen that before. Abdallah. Abdallah chocolate? I don't know why you're asking me to oh, pronounce things. I can't pronounce anything. Sea salt almond alligators. Oh, They're nice. actually called alligator chocolates. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Thank you for the so book recommendation. Are we going to eat an alligator too. right now? Yeah, I guess we have to eat an alligator. Should we try it? Sure. Let's try it. Eh. Eh. Okay. Chocolate. Alligator chocolate. It's inside. Oh, wherever you are, celebrate. Ah. Oh. Okay. I've never heard of alligator chocolate before, but it has caramel and it has chocolate. And sea salt, so how can you go wrong? Oh my gosh. Yep. That's good chocolate. Wanna try a bite? Mmm. Thank you, Tanya. Wow, that's intense. That is really good. There's a lot involved in that. Okay. I'm gonna eat. That'll be dessert if those other bars are gonna be dinner. Yep, that's what we'll do. Mmm. Thank you, Tanya. How many babies do you think we'll get this year? Babies this year? Yeah. Well, we have. Caitlin well, wants to know. Who? Caitlin. Caitlin? Oh, yeah, Caitlin. Uh, we're planning 12 pairs of hog noses this year. Not saying they're all going to take. Yeah. But we're also planning, I believe, 10 pairs of bull snakes. So hopefully we have 150, 175 babies because we have the rat snakes and a couple others too. Yeah, we're shooting for like 20 clutches. Mm hmm. Yeah, hold them, girl. Maybe. Hmm. Well. 
Oh, cool. Starla has a palmetto corn? Oh, cool. Oh, you get my ball pythons and a palmetto corn. I love that Caitlin more. Caitlin made you this. Caitlin! Thank you. Oh, wow. There's even a date on here. Oh, with medium and her name. That's really cool. I love it. Thank you, Caitlin. Oh, I love the background colors, too. Where are we going to put this? We can put him, oh, you can kind of see this on the on the screen. We'll put him right here. There we go. Awesome. Oh, sorry, I'm still trying to finish chocolate. Oh, cool. Who made this? Caitlin. This Caitlin. whole box is from Caitlin. Wow. She got Cheyenne some nuts. That's from really nuts. pretty. Nuts.com. Oh, I love Nuts.com. And some more nuts from Nuts.com. Wow. Oh. And some kisses. Here, have a bag of kisses. Aw, thank me you, and Caitlin. Caitlin. Oh, there's pistachios. In Is this pistachios? No, these aren't pistachios. Uh, those pumpkin. are pumpkin, yeah. Oh, and no salt, so Cheyenne can have them. Cheyenne, you want a pumpkin cake? Here. And some pictures of Caitlin. Oh. oh, cool. Caitlin, you sent so many fun things. Let's see if Cheyenne wants a seed. Caitlin oh. has a lot of fish. Oh. On a leopard gecko. Mmm. Oh, she loves it. Mmm. Oh, wow. She is pinning. Awesome. Yeah, I think she approves. Thank you. Thank you, Caitlin. Oh, and these are, okay, so I, this is more pumpkins, so I will not open both of them. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to open. Oh, man, I didn't Ooh, realize. That's a good question. Hmm? Where are we incubating our eggs this year? Hmm. I haven't set it up yet, but I need that's a project Ed needs to do soon. We have that Pepsi fridge that we're going to convert into an incubator, and we have a spot for it behind the camera over there that it would fit perfectly, but it's not set up as an incubator yet. Actually, right next to the, uh, we already did the rounds. Right yeah, next right next incubator. to where that glass case where we're putting the invertebrates, there's that blank spot on the wall. That's what we're planning on putting the uh, Pepsi fridge slash new Pepsi incubator, the Snake Discovery incubator, now that we have the new sign for it. But until then, we might just have to incubate them in our green tree python room because that's still heated and yeah, running. Yeah, it'll be set up before the eggs. You think? Yeah, I'll, I'll have that set up. Ed is saying it will be set up before the eggs are laid. So by the time grand opening is here, you'll get to see a lot of eggs in incubation. That's cool. We'll have to come up with fun themes to write on the eggs this year or to draw, you know? Yeah. Well, if anybody in the comments has good themes, well, let have, us know. If you have suggestions for themes for egg drawings or markers to mark what's on top, let us know. We did some fun ones last year. Aww. So, hi Ed, Emily, and Cheyenne. My name is Marina. I'm 10 and I live in Richmond, Virginia. One day I hope to get a hog nose. They are my favorite. I sent some chocolate for you and Ed. I also sent some uh, almonds for Cheyenne. I hope she likes them. Aww. Oh, and, and then, here we go. Marina actually drew a hog nose snake. A really cute hog nose snake, too. Gosh, I need magnets. I need to be able to, like, forward this. Maybe I'll just kind of hold strong while we're sore. Magnet. Okay. Oh, she did send almonds for Cheyenne. Oh, my goodness. Are they salt? They're not salted. You can have them. Here. Do you want an almond? Here you go. Try it. It's for Marina. Try it. Here, I'll help you. There you go. Are we ever planning on having Ooh. hot species? Hot species? Oh, I don't think we can give that away yet. Okay. We are planning to, but we've been keeping them a secret from the zoo because they're going to be a surprise. So, yes, but you can't know that yet. Oh my gosh, Marina also sent masks? Wow, she did. She sent face masks, and it's like a snake discovery mask and some other really cute patterns. Oh, that's super cute. So they like, are they going to, oh, they're, that's like perfect. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like how it's mini butt. Yeah, it's mini mouses <laughs> from behind. And she sent you, you have a Captain America. Oh, nice. Cool. Thank you, Marina. That was really nice of you. Oh, let me put these back in here. Don't want them getting dirty. Okay. Things are kind of dusty in this building from time to time. Kind of? Kind of, yes. And then these can go here. And chocolate. You sent chocolate too. Thank you, Marina. I'll crack into. Oh, oh. Oh, it's pink. Yeah. Is this the kind that dissolves? I don't think so. Nope, it's not. Definitely not. That tasted like styrofoam. Oh, man. Okay. Eh, throw that over there. 
Oh, oh Rex got a, a Pokemon card. It's <laughs> Death Roll and Splash. Those are her moves. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's pretty great. Oh no, there was no note in this. Really? Just Pokemon Just cards Pokemon that are animals? Pokemon cards that are animals. That's pretty, all right. Grumpy baby snakes. They have <laughs> hiss, hiss, hiss. <laughs> I like that. Thank you, whoever sent those yeah, and a bunch of uh, thank you. a bunch of little crocheted things. This is from Alan in Iowa. Let's see if I can find a good way to open this. Let's see, was it on the box? Eh. I missed it. Ah, Rosie. Rosie is Rossi. who sent those. Roxy? R O S S I. Rossi. 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 I would think Rossi. That's what I would thank think. Thank you, Rossi. Oh. Okay, I think I think that worked. For Alan's gift from Iowa. Nope, that didn't work. How do I open this? I mean, I can open it. No, I can't. I can't it. guarantee that everything's gonna be still intact when it's open. Let's see if I can get this guy. Uh, I can. I can get it. Uh, uh, okay. Get on the corner. Oh, jeez. I'll just slice it. Like deli meat. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are these boxes so strong? Ah! I know! <laughs> there we go. I got it. I got it. We're good. Nobody died. So we're fine. Yes! I can beat the box. Ava. From Ava? Yep. Ava sent us a whole oh my box gosh. of goodies. She sent Ava! Us frog moss. Frog moss? And oh, uh, Rocky Road chocolate covered coated uh, marshmallows with real graham crackers. So, Rocky, like a s'more. Rocky Road is a chocolate bar? I guess. Wow. Uh, jalapeno cheddar peanuts. Oh, you're going to try those, not me. Jalapeno. Uh, ranch crickets. Oh, nice. Edible crickets. Uh, Should we earth try? Earthworms? Real earthworms? I don't. I guess they're real worms. Sent you oh. a sweet bracelet. Oh, nice. I'm accessorizing today. Yeah. I think we have to try these crickets. So some peaches and cream uh, popcorn. Oh, nice. Oh, my gosh, some, Ava. Some body lotions. It just keeps going. Yeah, there's you a have to send ton so of much. things in this box. Should we try the... I think we have to try these crickets. There's sour cream and onion. Sent us fudge. Nice. What? Jeez, Ava. And then, uh, Conservation wow. Magazine. Oh, nice. Yeah. Missouri Conservationist. That's cool. We got the salamander. Oh, I to show that up. I'm looking through them first. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ed likes to look at things but not show the camera. Yeah. You know what? They're not going to see any of these now. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Ready for a cricket? What is this? Conservation Magazines. Sour cream and onion. That was a female. There's an overpositor. Yeah. Got uh, eat you that hold it too. By the oh, I have a male. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> Did you purposely uh, drop yours? No, it, the overpositor broke. No. Oh. Ugh. I don't think there's much topping on those. I think that's just cricket. Hmm. Uh, Not nice. a huge fan. Not amazing. Not no, amazing. I, can, I can taste it. The sour cream and onion. Yeah. Gotta try everything once, but I don't know if I need to try that again. I need a drink. Did I already okay. ask you somebody a long time ago was asking how Rex is doing after the vet visit? Oh, no. Okay. I meant, I saw that. It was like an hour ago now. Oh, Rex. They were um, like, how was Rex after eating the, the <laughs> Rex, funnel thing? Rex is back to normal. Or she never really acted abnormal at all. She's acting totally fine. She's eating great. Uh, I... Yeah, you wouldn't even know that she had swallowed little bits of plastic. I don't, I haven't seen bits come out as she is pooped, but I haven't been digging through her poop to see what it entails. Uh, but yeah, she's totally fine, thankfully. She scared us that few days, but thankfully she's okay. I really hope that wasn't the entire time, but hmm. yeah. whatever. Okay. Let's see. We have, oh, Whoa. this is Alan's. This works really well. It was just recently St. Patrick's Day. Hey, what? Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, well. It's already a has lot to be cleaned clean up. Clean up yep. anyway. Snake discovery Here and you go, oh, some adult coloring pages. Oh, cool. Wow. 
Oh, whoa, that's a really cool coloring page. Ooh, here's Cheyenne. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Sorry. sorry. She sent a hog nose, or no, just a snake oh, smelling. Huge mm -hmm. eyes. Okay, Alan, I promise I will get to your gift. Here you go, Cheyenne, you can wear that. Um, go here. Okay, just don't want to miss anything. Alan says, hello, and Emily, as you may recall, I made a wood burn of your channel logo a while ago. That's, That's right. upstairs in the yep. bedroom. Seeing that you guys liked it so much, I decided to make a couple more. Sorry if the quality isn't as good. I'm not very good with animals, by the way. The iron I use is the same soldering iron you guys use to melt holes in the bowls to make hides. Well, that's cool. Nice. From Alan. So Alan made some more wood burns. Let's see if I can carefully, because I don't want to damage these. Are you dancing? Yep. Somebody said, could I dance? So Can Ed dance? There you go. I danced. There you go. That's the extent of Ed's dancing. Oh my gosh. Alan, these are really cool. We can put these next to your logo one that you did. It's Cheyenne and Rex. Wow. I love the stripes you gave to Rex. And the baldness patches for Cheyenne. Hey, look. It's you. Are you not enjoying your uh, St. Patrick's Day necklace? Oh, well. Doesn't seem to <laughs> really mind it. I love these, Alan. Thank you very much. We ha we'll have to put these next to the uh, logo one that we have of yours, too. Yeah, that, that's upstairs in a place. I guess we don't really film uh, up there that often, Not but really. it is upstairs. This whole box was sent by Sydney. Sydney! Yep. Wow! So much. I'm just going to accept it. Yep. Well, that's <laughs> stuck to my face. That's great. Yep. So thank you, Sydney. <laughs> thank you, Sydney. Oh, okay. you got green paper on me. Uh huh. I got the green paper on you. Yep. Mm hmm. This is from Kerrigan in Idaho. That's a cute little box. There's. What is. Is this. It's coffee! Oh, it is! Oh, it's totally coffee! Oh my gosh! What? Thank you, Kerrigan! Let's see, I've got to read this note. There's also chocolate in here! Oh, and we're so lucky! Oh my goodness! Okay, I'm gonna try to open this without tearing your note. Ooh, too much! Sorry, the tape is really sticky. Aw. My favorite. Oh, I love watching your videos. Emily and Ed. Ed, I think? Uh. Who else are you doing it with? Pardon? Who else are you doing videos with? Ev? Who's Ev? Ev? Emily and Ev. You're right, it is a V. <laughs> mm. Yep. And Who's then we've Ev got now? Snake Around the World. Ah! Thank you, Kerrigan. It's for the chocolate, too! Ah! This is like, I don't know where this is from, but I'm excited to try it. Thank you. I feel like I still have... Ella sent you this sweet bird pen. Oh, cute. Yeah. We need pens up here. Yeah, we do. We can do cool bird pens up Aww. here. Aww. She also sent wow. a little... A little alligator. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so pudgy. <laughs> I love it. And a bunch of Pokemon cards. Thank you, Ella. Is this from Ella? Thank you, Ella. I thought that was right. Thank you. Okay, this goes here. I'm going to put art here so I can hopefully find something. Oh, this ring is starting to cut blood, blood flow to my... Oh, is it? You're starting yeah. to lose, a, lose circulation? Yeah, my finger's redder than... Look at this finger. It's redder than the oh other Oh my gosh, one. it is. Maybe don't wear that ring much longer. Oh. <laughs> this is from Maya in Ohio. We've got any questions that you see, by the way? Um... What's on? Uh, not to send... What snakes what live in this? deep south Texas? I know one that's really, I want to go find. Indigos! Yep, indigos live down there. We would love there. to see indigos in south Texas. That would be great. Let's see. So, this is... No, I'm going to try to read the note first. Let's see. The blue snake is for Emily. The milk-looking snake is for Ed. By the way, I really want to see Ed in this video. Well, there you go! Awesome. This is, what's this? This is Maya. Maya or Mia? I'm not exactly sure. Probably M-I-A? Is that Mia? M-I-A? Yeah. Mia? It's missing in action. Missing in action, yes. <laughs> I think it's Maya or Mia, yeah. I decided to make a water dish hoping you could use it. By the way, it is clay, so not expecting you to use it. Oh, well, let's see it, Maya. Are we going to film at the facility? 
Uh, yeah, we probably will. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a couple times. Maybe a couple. Yes, we are planning on oh, filming yeah. at the facility. We're going to film probably most of our videos at the yeah. facility once we move completely here. So no more kitchen shots. No more kitchen shots. Yep. And we already got the write-off for the new kitchen, so. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can open this guy. Scissors. That's what I need are scissors. Oh, my goodness, Maya. You packaged it so well. Let's see if I can open this guy. I think I see a clay oh, cool. snake in here. I love the colors. Oh, this is like my favorite combination of colors. Oh, wow. Yeah, these are really pretty. Oh, you know what? It is a single snake. It sadly did break, which is surprising. It looks like it had broken there in the past. But look at that color combo. It's like the tealy green, blue, and purple. I love how those look blended together. I love the snake, Maya. And then I've got, I'll just kind of put this here. Oh my goodness, my pet snake fell off of my, my neck. I forgot I had him. So Abrielle sent us stencils of snake discovery. So Whoa. we can transfer that to something and then paint and pull that off and we have our... Oh, that would have come in handy for the yeah, Timor monitors. Yeah, it would have worked really well for the Timor monitors. Oh. We could use it right up there. We could like oh, yeah, we paint could. green. Oh, okay. We're going to use this. She also sent a bunch of chocolate. That's cool. Oh, wow. A lot of chocolate. of chocolate. Ton of chocolate. Thank you. And one more thing from Mia. Mia, Maya. Oh. <laughs> so somebody just went, cheese and rice. How much fan mail do you guys have? This is, I mean, we've made it through most of what we wanted to get through. Yeah, we most have of what we brought eight today. minutes left for three hours. Okay. Uh, and we made it through like, <laughs> like a You're tenth so of the fan mail that's at home right now. A tenth. This is just. Yeah. Our living room is taken over by fan mail because we stopped <laughs> doing it for a little bit. This is us trying to catch up from last summer's mail. So a lot of this is actually from last year, and I feel so bad that we didn't have a chance to open it yet. But uh, with the bull snakes moved out, we were able to kind of reach and we wanted to keep cleaning that room. We're like, you know, we really need to go through the fan mail that's been wait. People have been waiting for us to open. So that's primarily what we're opening today. Oh my gosh, Mia, you did make a water dish. <gasps> that's super cute. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Oh. I love it. Oh, we're gonna, I have to put something in here. What am I going to put in here? Ah, I need something small. Ah, okay, I'll put lots in here. Here. This would be something cool to show off. Oh yeah, can you grab the one with the design on top? Yes. Okay, so we're going to show off the products we're really excited for uh, at the, probably in a Patreon video that we'll just film after this, because I don't know if it would be boring or not, but this is something we're going to carry in the retail store. It's from our friend Ben and his daughter with Centering Clay right here in Minnesota. They hand make ceramic reptile hides and water dishes and humidity boxes. So these are a couple that they handmade and they make cool designs on them too, but they're like glaze and he makes all the glazes himself with reptile safe uh, ingredients, if you want to call them that, or minerals. But yeah, and they, they're they actually, yeah. the ceramic, they're uh, baked in a kiln and everything. So very exciting. I love these. They're yeah. great snake hides and we're very excited for them. <laughs> and the, showed off a little bit. Yeah, we can, we can give one product away. Yeah. That works. <laughs> but I don't want to bore you by just showing you the things we're going to carry. Because that would be weird. <laughs> like, look at all these products that we have. And that, yeah. Anyway, this is from A. Schwartz in South Carolina. Okay, so this is from A. Let's see if I can uh, peel this open. So I'm going to have the address pointed towards me. I'm excited for that big fragile box. Yeah. yeah. I think we're probably not going to do the stuff that's still in the cart. Okay. I think whatever's on the table yep. is what we're going to. Oh, check this out. We also have oh, no. bins behind things. the counter so that when we sell live rodents, we'll have them in the rack that's tucked down there now. Pretty excited for that. There is a donut in here. And we have, oh, here's a little, oh, there's another donut in here. And then we have a letter. Hi, Ed and Emily. Hi, I am Ashlyn. I'm so happy you got my note. I've been watching your videos for two years. I hope you like my package. You're the best. And then Ash Ashlyn? Ashlyn also drew a couple of snakes, or a snake and a lizard. Or maybe if Emily and Ed were reptiles, that's what we would look like. Thank you, Ashlyn. The donuts are really cute. I love them, and they're squishy. They're like the, it's like memory foam. 
Okay, I feel bad squishing them. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Oh, let's say we use these containers. Yep. Gemma made you a shirt. Wow, Gemma made this? Yep. Cool. Oh, I didn't realize it was this side too. I was looking at that side. Wow. She also drew you some Snake pictures. Story. Oh, thank you, Gemma. Here's a here's her bearded dragon. <laughs> or their bearded dragon. Oh, cute bearded and then dragon. They sent, uh... I love it. We could use the container in there actually for snake eggs this year. Yeah. Huh. And they sent some exactly. chocolates from California. California chocolates? Yeah, California chocolates. Ooh. Seeds candies? Huh. If anybody's ever had C's candies before. I've heard of C's candies before. Sounds pretty cool though. Oh, I can't open it from here. This is from Lillian in Pennsylvania. Eh. Oh, if I can open it, that is. Eh. Sorry, the stream is so long, guys. Oh Hope no. It melted. Oh no! Whoa, it became one big chocolate. It's now one big chocolate. Oh no! Candy bar. I guess so it's it like, came from California. So it's one calorie, right? I think it counts. Yeah, it just counts as the calories of a single chocolate. That's want, exactly it. Do you want it. to try? Yeah, let's a try it. Melted C's chocolate. I'll try it. You missed the inside. I did. It kind of broke off around it. Mmm. That's good chocolate though. Mm-hmm. That's like smooth chocolate. Wow. Thank, Thank you, you, Gemma. This is from Lillian. I am eight years old, and I have a pet betta fish named Mr. Fishy. I also have toads that live under my garage. We call we call one of them Stubbs. My mom's helping me write this because my handwriting is really bad. I love watching all of your snake discovery and YouTube videos. The favorite snakes are garter snakes. Aww. And there's like all sorts of bits of art in here, I think. I guess we'll see. I'll open some of these up. Oh, eh. Let's see. Here's the. That's the one. That's the one that'll biodegrade. Yep, that's the one you can eat. Not those pink ones. Eh, piece of paper. Wow, Lillian, you wrapped these so well, too. Oh, let's see if I can open it. Oh, man. What do you think, Dan? You're just wearing your seat. Don't breathe. Oh, yeah, you can take it that, I guess. How are the jumping oh, spiders? The jumping spiders? Oh, interesting development with the jumping spiders. We tried pairing them. The female made a big nest. Well, the female ate the male. Yeah. And then made a big nest and had it left it for like three weeks so we're like oh my gosh she made a nest she laid eggs there's got to be babies but we've been checking every day and we haven't seen any babies come out so i don't know maybe she was just going into a molting cycle but on the other hand our uh Phidippus regius our regal jumping spider named gordita who we couldn't find a mate for because they're not native in our area and it was too cold throughout the winter to buy a male and have it shipped she laid infertile eggs yesterday because she didn't have a male to breed with. But she's, they're all doing great, except for the male that got eaten, I suppose. But yeah, Lillian sent like clay figurines. This one, I'm gonna put them, this is adorable. I love the hot pink colors. Oh my gosh. So Abigail and Stephanie. And I think that's everybody who sent something in here. It's a lot of little things to go through. Sent Cheyenne this big toy that we can go put on our big stand that she just got. Yeah, we can put that Oh, in. that's a spoiler too. Oh, well, I already said, I mentioned the stand. Oh, okay. Yeah, they know that she has a stand. So, oh, and, and Catherine. And Catherine yep, said that? Yep, Cheyenne! Look at your new toy. You have a new toy! Okay, I'll lay it to I don't know if you're that good. Oh, cool. They also sent you Hershey's miniatures for Emily and Ed, but Ed and Ed's crossed out. <laughs> just for me! So just for Emily. It's just for me. Perfect. They also right. sent some cute pictures uh, of like the puppies. <laughs> There. Cool. And there. Uh, so thank you guys. Oh, also uh, another one for Cheyenne. Got, she got banana chips. Just for Cheyenne? Do you want a banana chip? You can oh, have and some artwork. Thank you guys. Oh, wow. You guys said so we'll much. Add it somehow gonna, to the pile. Of we'll hang this on Cheyenne's artwork. stand right after this, and she's going to love that. Uh, do you want another banana chip? Here. Who is this from? Uh, Abigail. That's right. And three, two other people. Nice. Okay. Uh, Here's from Abigail. Abigail. What's this? What's this? Stephanie and. Hey, 
Dang it, there was one more too. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna open up the last one from from Catherine. Lillian. Oh, and Catherine, that's right. Abigail, yeah, Abigail, Stephanie, and Catherine. Catherine. Yep. Thank you for the Cheyenne goodies. Thank you guys. You uh, she didn't want the banana chip. <laughs> Wow, she's being very. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, it's work, staying work with us. on her head for so long. Oh, girl. <laughs> okay, I think I have. Lillian, you sent so many fun things. And wrapped them so well, too. Like the clay made it perfectly. Okay, I'll take my hat off. Did someone ask you to? Yes, somebody's been asking nonstop. Take your hat off? Yep, take my hat off. Take the hat off. <laughs> Do you not like hats? No, I think it's because my hair is. Supposed to be colorful. Oh yeah. Even though the color, yeah. the blue dot, the blue faded out right yeah, away. Yeah, it's dead. Oh, well, it's your side is on. Huh? Yours is way ahead of my stream. Really? Yeah. Oh, I get all the uh, comments. I've seen some comments show up on yours and then on mine. So I don't know. Maybe it just depends on the on the yep. time. What is that? It's a cup. Like a container. Ooh, we can put things in it. It's from something Harper. To put in it. <sighs> it could be for pennies. And then I can shake it and be really there you loud. Go. Okay, that's what we'll do. All the Pokemon cards are for Ed. What? Yeah. Oh, All thanks, of mine. Harper. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's fine. We'll honor it. <laughs> okay, so do I. Do you want me to open that duct tape one? Sure. And then do we just have these three yeah, left? And we just have the, the big ones left. Okay. I think, yeah, just the two besides this one. That I'm... Harper sent us some awesome drawings. I'm a little afraid that Emily's gonna swing here. Well, it's covered in duct tape. I think and, I have and to. And Pokemon cards. Thank you, Harper. Thank I'm you, get Harper. Out of the way. This is from Rachel in Richfield, Minnesota. Nice. Nice. I will. Oh my gosh. That was really loud. This isn't very sharp anymore, is it? My hair used to be colored, and then the blue faded out, and the green is still kind of there. Ah! Ah! Raw? Ah. Yeah. Raw? You gonna talk? Uh, yeah, raw. What if we can there, get her to talk? There was a question. No, where'd it go? Oh, you missed the question. Rachel's gift. Oh wow, Rachel's gift is wrapped like a present. How do you convince oh. your parents to get a reptile? Oh, convincing parents. And also, uh, wait, Mary, this convincing is parents. Dave for... R farted. Dave R farted. That's the username. No, it's Dave R. He wrote, "I farted." Oh, really, Dave? You farted. <sighs> Disappointed. We're <laughs> proud. Maybe we're proud. We can be proud. So to convince parents to allow you to get a reptile, um, take them places where they can be exposed to reptiles. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing. Uh, Clint has a pretty good video on it. But what we recommend is, yeah, just expose your parents to reptiles in a positive environment, like encourage to go to zoos or reptile uh, stores, even or to, herp societies. Herp society meaning show that you are willing to learn about them, and it's not just kind of like a phase type thing. Show that you are serious. You want to learn about these animals and how to take care of them. Yeah. And so a lot of even... times parents are afraid of snakes. That's why they don't want to have them. Mm -hmm. So if you teach or them snakes aren't anything to be afraid of, that would definitely help. So this is all from Rachel. There is chocolate and what? Somebody just said I'm in the bathroom pooping. Really? We don't need to know if you're pooping or farting, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or tell us. That would be actually pretty entertaining. Uh... I farted twice during this live stream, but I didn't want to say anything. Nice. I'm <laughs> just, gonna stand over just here saying. Now. <laughs> I guess if we're sharing it all now, I see. I am a, a gentleman. I don't fart in the presence <laughs> of a lady, yeah, like la Cheyenne. Ladies over there. fart all the time. Oh, oh, I see what this is. It's an Umbreon coaster. Whoa! Oh my gosh, Rachel, did you make this? looks amazing. Also, for anybody wondering, because I've seen a handful of people, it's not going to be this. The live stream is almost over. We've got about two more packages. Yep. And then, we have two more big packages after this one. And then we're pretty much going to be wrapping it up after that. Yep. So it's not going to be much longer. Nope. If you have to take off, though, we totally understand. We'll just cry a little inside. Wow, that's a crazy chain bracelet. That's really cool how they interlock. Look at this. Ah. It's like mega chain. Ah, it's awesome. No. Kind of fit. Oh, it's for you. I oh, it. I accidentally opened your gift. Oh, and this yeah. one's mine. It's oh. a blue version. There was a clip on it. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, please. Okay. Can I get this on by myself? I'm going to get mine on before you. 
Yeah, I have to fix uh, mine. Uh, got it. Okay, this is also for you. I forgot. Uh -huh. I didn't realize that they okay. were presents. I will refix that, and I will make that work again. Oh, almonds for Cheyenne! Hi, pretty girl. Do you want an almond? We're gonna have to like. Oh, this could be for all of Cheyenne Street. That's what we could use this for. There we go. Yeah. Ah, cool. Because I'm opening all these packages. You want I got, an almond? Oh, sweet. You want this? Mmm. Great. No? Okay. You got an Umbreon? <laughs> I got Charizard. Whoa! That's so cool! Thank you, Rachel! Uh -huh. And I also got 92% dark chocolate. Wow! I wonder yeah. if she made these. Those Probably. look homemade. That's incredible. Do um, you plan on breeding Cheyenne? Nah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Cheyenne's a baby. One. Just our pet. Let's see. My name is Rachel. I'm 27. And... I'm a fast fan. I'm kind of late to getting into there. your channel. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> I had always liked snakes and wanted one for years, but was uh, it was no good with my parents until I moved out on my own. I started watching your videos because I found your care guide for ball pythons and through the rest of your or went through the rest of your old videos because I loved your energy. Ah, that's so cool! Let's see, Emily, don't take Ed's gift, please. Nuts are for Cheyenne. I'll totally come visit your location when you finally open, since I'm close by! Rachel! Oh, what is... There's actually a drawing... Oh! Here's Rachel's ball python! Beautiful! That looks... I don't know if it's a normal or if it is a morph. Sometimes it's hard to tell with ball pythons, but it's beautiful, regardless. And there's this... Why do you get the Dr. Pepperwood? Somebody's asking. We oh. still have the Dr. Pepperwood! Yeah, it's here! I don't, we have to... It doesn't smell like it anymore because it hasn't been drilled in a while. But yeah, it, the hole only lasts like two days. It also got stepped on and abused. I was using it to straighten out peg hooks. I was using it to whack the shelves into uh, place. Yeah. The Dr. Peg pepper board gets pretty abused. So it it's has a lot speed of scars. Holes now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, Rachel. And go! Oh, there goes Dr. Pepperboard. <laughs> That is... That's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Where are we going to put this? Rachel, you did an excellent job on this. Is this another, like, wood burning thing? I think it might be. <laughs> That's incredible. How did you convince Ed to wow. get Rex? Uh, how did I convince yep. Rex? Or how Ed did to get you, Rex? Yes. We kind of just went in on, to, <laughs> together. You well, went, uh, let's rescue this re alligator from this box. And I went, okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's how it went. <laughs> we have a spare bedroom in our house. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, I've got to take the chocolate out. Thank you very much, Rachel, for all of the gifts. Sorry I accidentally opened one of Ed's. Oh, he's wearing the bracelet. So he's going to go here. Should we open the last two gifts? We did not pour Dr. Pepper on the wood either. It was we a didn't. surprise to us. No! A lot of people were like, yeah, you just poured poured it, uh, pop on it, and that's why it smells like that. No, no, no. <laughs> it just smells like Dr. Pepper. We were, I don't I know why. I was using it. It came well, from our contractors. I yeah. came from our contractors, and I was using it to drill holes in the uprights for the slat wood. Yep. And then all of a sudden, I just was holding it, and I don't know why, but I went, oh, this smells Oh, it smells like Dr. Pepper, and that's where it came from. The yep. origins of the Dr. Pepper wood. Some people were saying it might be like a white birch, or it it's might pine. be... pine. It is pine wood. Yeah, yeah, it's just a pine. Yeah, so... I can see how different types of woods, they definitely have different scents uh, from what I picked up in dendrology, but I've never experienced Dr. Pepper scent before. Yeah. So, but it's pine, so I don't understand why. How old's Cheyenne? Cheyenne is 24. I think 24. I think she's, yeah, she's 24. And you're a good girl. And you're not yeah. up here. I'll pull this up. There you go. Ah, Alright, last two packages. Last two packages. Mine came from California. Mine came from California as well. Wow. <laughs> nice. Alright, we got a lot of fans on the West Coast. Do. Look at that. You can kind of angle mine Come on, like East this. Coast people. Oh my gosh. Just kidding. I'm kidding. kidding. We don't need any more fans. Oh, no, it's okay. Well, mine. Ah. I got a box. A box inside of a box. And then I'll nail that box to myself. And when it arrives, ah, I'll smash it with a hammer. Nerd. Okay, comment. Yeah. What is that What's from? What's that from? First or... person gets a shout out. <laughs> yeah. What movie is that from? Or to save on postage, I'll just poison him with this. What a great movie. I... Uh, somebody already got it. Someone got it. And they didn't say that. They Yzma. just said Isma. So Noel and Jackal. Jekyll. 
Jekyll. Nice, yep. A lot of people are getting it. Yep. Nice job, Elise. <laughs> nice job, Pat. And, yep. You guys got it. Yes, I'm glad that there Amazing are other nerd. well cultured people <laughs> here who know Emperor's new group. Well cultured. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. You guys are all amazing. <laughs> Emperor's New Groove is not culture. <laughs> I, it's an American classic. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what this is, but that's what I saw looking into it. Oh my gosh. And on the back, it says, guess who? I think somebody made a snake discovery, guess who? What? That is awesome. We're going to have to open that up. We're going to have to, like, play that. We may have to end the live stream by playing guess who. That's cool. Maybe I can have like the commenters help me with. Okay, maybe I have to play with this. Okay. Anyway, sorry. This is from the Mills family in California. Oh, yeah, now that the address is on my side. Whoa, two snake discovery. Your videos are amazing. Uh, they're educational and funny. In the small brown box, I sent a wire figure of the snake from your logo and a wire figure of a green dragon. What? Oh my gosh. Why do we even have that lever? <laughs> Why do we even have that? Oh my gosh. Uh, is that my voice? <laughs> is that my voice? Sorry. I know that whole movie by heart. Yeah, we've only watched that movie like... The only movie I think we've watched more together as a couple... couple Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo, yeah, yes. Because yep. when we were dating, we'd go in her basement and we'd be like, what movie do we want to watch? And we had like 80 movies to choose from. We always went... Do you want to watch Finding Nemo again? It's such a good movie. Oh I don't my think we've watched that movie in like four years now. It's bit, we got a little OD'd on Finding Nemo <laughs> by watching it too much. Wow. What kind of accessory is worn at a formal reptile lovers group? Uh, I don't know. What kind of uh, accessory is at a formal reptile group? A snack tie. <laughs> Thank you, Jaina, for the joke. That is awesome. <laughs> Did you say <laughs> that? is the oh best. <laughs> oh, well, my that gosh. has to come to every fan mail now that we have that. <laughs> we need to hang that in the background. Yes, yes. <laughs> I like how it's always even framed. Yeah. And they put chocolate in with that. Oh, one. my God. <laughs> Uh, have you found a name yet? No. No name yet, huh? Okay. I mean, I think I can look on the outside of the box. Okay. Uh, my Mine is from Jaina in California. Let's see. I hope the harness fits for Cheyenne. It's meant for mid-sized pet lizards, but comes with extenders. Because I think it would look really cool. Oh, there might be a harness in here for Cheyenne. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And there's a couple questions from, J uh, from Julia here. Uh, who made a crocheted snake? Which... Here it is. This is from Julia, the crocheted snake. Uh, which of your animals is your favorite? Out of all my animals, I would have to pick Cheyenne. I know we're a reptile really? channel. Yeah, I'd pick my little girl Cheyenne. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll take this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Cheyenne's pretty cool. Ah. Yeah, you would I'd remember? keep her. You would you? Yeah. If I died tomorrow, if you'd hang on to Cheyenne? Maybe. There you go. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. <laughs> uh, what is going to be slash what's your favorite enclosure at the facility to decorate? Ooh, we haven't quite gotten to the decoration part. I'm still really excited for Rex's enclosure though because of the tunnel. I put the uh, ceiling on the tunnel er, last week and the walls, so that's all done. Now the tunnel just needs the padded base and it's good to go. So I'm really excited for that one. What is the best starter pet spider? I recommend a curly hair uh, tarantula. Yeah, yeah. Those are, are Talil Decadal. The, the only problem with the oh yeah, they are Talil Decadal. Talil Decadal. Yeah. The only problem with them is they hide. They like do you gotta hide. get you gotta get a half grown one. Maybe a red rump tarantula. That'd be. What's a good the one. the fire leg one? Oh, Mexican uh, fire flame leg. Yeah. Flame legs that one's are been cool kinda, too. I don't know if those he's are handleable though. He's a though. kicker, okay. like a hair kicker, but yeah, he's really cool. Or she, she's really cool. Oh, so okay. uh, the box was labeled as Kevlin. From Kevlin. From Kevlin? Okay. Yeah, so that they sent I'll us wait this. on this one. And then also, Snake Discovery Pokemon card collection. Oh my gosh, we have two binders so for We have now cards. two binders of Pokemon cards, and oh my that is gosh. awesome. From Kevlin? Kevlin. Okay. So hopefully there's a note in here. I hope so. But yeah, there was no note in the box. Really? Yeah. 
This is this actually a snake discovery guess who? I mean, who? it said snake discovery guess who on the front of it. But was is it like guess who? Guess it's the like, snake. Yeah. Is it actually our snakes? Wait. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm really curious. Snake discovery guess who featuring some of the scaly crew. Oh. No way. Oh yeah, I should probably. Oh my gosh. Let's see. John want, wants to know what are our Hogwarts houses. Oh, here we go. Got uh, there's a note oh. here. Ravenclaw. Just uh, from uh, Kevlin. What was it? Emma Slytherin. You're, I think you're, I you you took the test. I think it's a Slytherin. <laughs> Sorry, right. Slytherins are sweet. <laughs> Highest snake discovery. I know I literally just sent you a box of stuff, but with all this downtime, I found myself on Photoshop and made a little something for you. I took some screenshots from your videos. It was really fun being, uh, fun binging all your videos to find the right images, along with some photos of my pets and some of the ones from my local exotic shop and made a game for you. Anyways, thanks for reading the note and for all your hard work you and your crew do, especially during the craziness going on. Best wishes on the video, travel, and facility. Kevlin. This is Henry, my hog nose. You called a big, big hog when you saw his skin. I was going to say, that's a huge... He's cheering you on as well. That's a huge hog nose that snake. That is a big hog nose snake. Wow. That's got to be a girl. It's got to be. Yeah, it looks like a girl. Yeah, that's a short, so, stubby tail. I think I think his should be her, and she's her cheering you on. Yeah, I think your hog <laughs> might be a female. But I mean, we don't know. Yeah, We're maybe just looking not. at the picture. It's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Kukri oh, snake. It is guess who, but with snake. our animals. No way. Oh, we're going to have to put those on all the slots and then... What else wow. is in here? Okay, so then it's just the regular... Gotcha, so it's like a modified guess who. Yeah. But instead of the people's faces, it's all of our... All of our oh, different this is going to be so much fun. Okay, so we have to... It would take some setup time, so yeah. we probably won't be able to do it during this live maybe, stream. Maybe we'll do either like a Patreon video or a... Or just a video video of us playing... Playing Guess Who? Playing Guess Who. That would be Snake cool. Discovery Guess Who by Kevlin. <gasps> Thank you, yes. Kevlin. Awesome. Thank that you, Kevlin. That awesome. was an amazing box. And now every time Emily's like, chocolate, I can just be like. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm not too crazy over chocolate. <laughs> that is cool. I can't wait to play that now. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be so fun. Last package. Last package. Last one. This is from Jaina. I started opening it a little bit earlier. Uh, what is, she also has another question on here. What is your favorite step of building the facility? Favorite step so far? Probably hmm. wrapping the outside because it made a huge difference in one day. Two days. Uh, yeah, I mean, mine would just be like the little construction things. Basically really? things that I can do in a day. Like putting up the door over there? Like putting up the door and just yeah. things that I can like start and do. But that's kind of just my personality. That's why I kind of got into IT because it's a lot of, you know, not coding, but, you know, building computers and doing stuff. It's like something you could sit down and do in one day. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, wow. Jaina and I think it's uh, Julia as well. Yeah, Jaina and Julia, it sounds like, put together this package from California. This is an epic bird toy. For Cheyenne, we're gonna have all the toys we need for her new stand in our in our office. Oh my gosh, Cheyenne, look at this! This is for you. Wow. I don't know if you were. I know, right? Holy moly! She's gonna love tearing apart the corn cobs. Look at that! Do you want to check it out? Get it! Oh, she's yeah, like, straight for a corn cob. Like, Good girl. That's not real corn, get, get, guys. Get, 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 get. There's no corn on there. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it. Oh, Yay! So excited. Wow, she's excited. Here, I'm gonna lay this here for you. Right, we'll nice. move it in back after this, okay? Oh my gosh, you are so spoiled. Everyone spoils you, Shane. <laughs> oh, whoa. Pistachio cranberry biscotti. Is this, is this like a, is biscotti like a biscuit, I assume? A type of biscuit? I don't Maybe. think I've ever had this before. Oh yeah, I had that before. Have you? It's pretty good. Do you have it it's with pistachio. It's tea? a Christmas thing, I think. Yeah, it kind of looks Christmassy. I think you can do it with like hot chocolate or tea or chalk or coffee. So a hot drink is what you're supposed to yeah. enjoy this with? Okay. Oh, we can try that. That looks delicious. Thank you, Jaina and Julia. <laughs> and there's gummy frogs in here. So Tiffany yeah. said you didn't fart during the episode. You fluffed. I the fluffed. That's, that's what I did. <laughs> I fluffed. I don't know. You guys have never been around Emily then. <laughs> <laughs> Silent but deadly. <laughs> Those are, those are gummy frogs. Yeah. I'm eating a gummy You're frog. You're going to try one? Okay. 
There's bark things in here? Holy moly, that's a huge package full of stuff. Oh, nuts. Who is this from? <laughs> this is from Jaina and Julia in uh, California. Okay. Look at this. Oh, look, it has oh. an A on its head. Oh, it does. That's a gummy frog. Oh, Cheyenne, do you want oh, a nut in a shell? Oh, wow. That that's is a sour. Flavorful. Oh, it's sour. Wow. wow. Those are really good. That's really good. Um, We're going to have to share that. Oh, they're Albanese. Ah, that's, that's why, why they're so, so good. good. <laughs> Here. Mmm. Oh, so it takes the almond in the shell. Ah, that's cool. I'll have to play a game with Shay and I'll show you a game that we play together. So somebody says, Animal Lover 101 says, please boo Cheyenne for me. Boo! 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 You're terrible oh. at opening that nut. Boo. <laughs> I don't think she really cares. Yeah, she doesn't care. <laughs> wow! Dessert truffles? Jaina? Julia? You're oh my gosh, and these! Oh, yeah. It's the baby hides, the sugar pack containers that work for baby hides. Oh, we're expecting so many babies this year. This is going to be perfect. You said so many. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. We will use, we use all of the ones we bought last year. We ran out of them quickly. So thank you so much. That'll be perfect for that vision rack that we have. And then there is a box. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, this says for Alaska, our tegu. I think this is a harness for her. You put so many things in this box. Oh my gosh. There is. Is this a harness with dragon wings? It totally is. Oh, Alaska's going to have little dragon wings. Do you love potatoes? I do love potatoes. <laughs> was, that, was that it? Yep. Someone just asked if I like potatoes? Yep. Potatoes are delicious in hash brown form. Especially, or french fries. Okay. McDonald's. Facility is in Minnesota. Facility is in Minnesota. And McDonald's Maplewood, Minnesota, has the best technical. french fries. Prove me wrong. I mean, I don't think really anybody's fighting you on that, that stance. <laughs> yep, yep. McDonald's. Well, you think uh, Burger King has better fries. I like McDonald's fries. I like potato wedges. Oh, yeah, those are good, too. And McDonald's, oh. between McDonald's and Burger King, pota Burger King has better potato like flavor Products. than their fries. Makes sense. We can use these tongue feet Alaska because she's so ravenous when she runs out of her cage. Ashley's fingers smell like hot dogs. Okay. If your fingers smell like hot dogs, I think there's something wrong medically, possibly. Whoa. Oh no, is this? Do you like hamburgers or cheeseburgers? Cheeseburgers. Yeah, there's not even a yep. choice there. Even if you had, uh, if you're lactose intolerant, you still eat cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah. Come on. This is a dragon, I think. That definitely looks like a dragon. It's got wings. Wow, that must have taken forever. I don't know if it was Jaina or Julia who made this, but it looks like, I would definitely say a dragon, kind of like in a cloud, I would say, flying around. That is one of the most unique sculptures I have seen in a while, and that is amazing. That must have taken some time. Holy cow, I like... Don't have words to describe that. That is really cool. Thank you for all of these amazing gifts, Jana and Julia. We are going to be excited to try these and the truffles. There's so many goodies in here. Oh, and there's even there's even more hot cocoa mix and oh, and a little blue box is the last thing in here. Oh, and inside of the little blue box we have. Does Emily want a special hat like she made for Ed? I don't remember which hat it was, but oh, I have so many hats. Do I want a special hat? Yeah, do you want a special hat? Well, didn't we Animate? each get the the snake? I think, it was, I think it was discovery? no, it was a different one. Oh, the one that was just for you. Yeah. <gasps> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Ed's hat is awesome. Oh my gosh, this is a dragon necklace and earrings and matching earrings to go with it. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna pick this off so it doesn't fall. But check out. The dragon necklace that Jaina and Julia sent. Wow. Oh man, am I gonna? I'm gonna have to put this on right now. I think. Would you rather have no arms or no legs? Oh, that's like a Mandy question. Yeah, I feel like we're getting a Mandy level of questions no now. No arms or no legs. I'd rather have no legs. I think. Because okay. I feel like I'd be pretty mobile in a uh, in a wheelchair. Yep, that makes sense. And then I could still handle snakes, and hold oh, Cheyenne. Geez. That'd be my guess. Thank you, Darth uh, Necro Saber Jacob Randall. 
I'd put the earrings in. Wow. Darth? Yeah, Darth. Wow. Necro Saber. Darth, thank you. You guys are all way too generous. Holy cow. Uh, we're going to be able to feed our reptiles forever. Yeah, we will. Yeah. I would put these beautiful earrings on uh, if I didn't have Cheyenne with me because she would yank them out. But yeah, have you Jana. Have read book 14 of Wings of Fire yet? I have not read book 14 yet. Don't spoil it. I can't, I've been so busy here. I think I, I was taking everyone's suggestions in that Audible one. I was like, should I go through all 13 and then read 14? Oh, yeah. And I saw a really good suggestion from a few people. Read or listen to audiobook uh, 13 to refresh myself. Okay. And then 14. So that's what I'm going to do. So, hi, Aubrey and Lucy in Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines? <laughs> Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, yes, it does. Iowa smells like poop. Iowa does she smell like poop. She says it doesn't smell like poop, but it does. It does smell like poop. I'm sorry. <laughs> we weren't playing that up in the video. It smelled like poop. It, but in all fairness, Wisconsin smells like poop. It does. Minnesota smells like poop. It North does. and South Dakota smell like poop. Uh-huh, yeah. You They're gotta not... smell like poop if you want to get food. Ooh, these are really good. These are like thin mints, but in a crisp form. Ooh, and pepperminty. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be good, too. Holy cow, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any tips on a pink pastel hog nose? They're getting soon. Oh, you're getting a pink pastel? Mm -hmm. Oh, those are cool. Danielle. Mm, Danielle, probably a baby is my guess. Uh, tips as far as, well, if this is your first snake, make Read sure. Below. <laughs> yeah, make sure you don't hold it for at least a week when you can then offer it food. And if it eats, give it a good 48 hours before then starting to handle it. Another common mistake we often see with baby hog noses is they're kept in too big of an environment, which even a 10 gallon or sometimes even a five gallon is too big for a hatchling. A six quart tub is all you need until they're big enough to move up from there. And it normal, like I would normally wow. say on one side, like you can't give a snake too big of an enclosure if you give them enough stuff to live in. But it seems like hog noses, we've tried a lot. We've given them Tons of hides, mm -hmm. bedding, so they crawl under, but they just get freaked out in really big enclosures. So they do. Even, even if just, you fill just it up. like make get a big enclosure for it, just kind of half it, make a and divider. then fill it up. Yeah, if you have a ten gallon setup for this pink pastel, definitely plan on just putting a divider in there and making your temperature gradient in the smaller enclosure or smaller section you have sectioned off for the baby, because so they still do need that temperature gradient too. Um, but yeah, uh, another interesting thing we discovered last year with baby hog noses, not that this would apply to you because you're only getting the one, but we have found that baby hogs eat better if they are housed with a second hatchling hog nose at first, at least at first. Uh, we had several babies that were refusing to eat, but we, uh, but then we, can't, we had more babies hatch. This is the albinos that hatched last year. We had so many babies that some of them we had to double up temporarily until we had another rat come in. And then they started eating when they were doubled up. And we're like, oh, uh -huh. weird. And so we had one more that was single. And we're like, well, what if we give him, and she wasn't eating, her. Well, what if we give her a friend? And we did. And then she started eating too. So hog noses are just weird. Yeah. It seems like they, as hatchlings, do better with a second. But you don't want to keep them together permanently, of course. It seems like it's just a baby thing that helps them out. But, I don't do, you, know. do you have any tips for breeding ball pythons or rosy boas for the first time? Ooh, breeding them. Uh, make sure that your female is definitely big enough, both of age and uh, of weight. size. Yeah, of weight. Because yeah. we see a lot of people push them to breed too early, and that's really not going to be a good thing in the long run. You we might get babies earlier, but you're going to lose your female sooner. We haven't done a lot with either of those species, mm -mm. Uh, so there's probably a join groups. Yep. You know, join breeding groups. Just mm -hmm. learn from some of the people who've been around for a long time. Reach out, try and yeah. make friends with people. Yep. Just get some connections, and they'll they'll walk you through the process. That's mm -hmm. pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, no, I'm not drinking a beer. It is a pop in a beer bottle. Root beer. Root beer. We yeah, just, root beer. Uh, it's root beer. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more question. <laughs> find one more question. Okay, I'll try to find a question too. Quasi is still hanging in there. He's not eating on his own yet. He hasn't really grown a whole lot. So I'll, I still have my doubts on if he's going to thrive in the long run. But he is still alive. He's still on the 10-gallon tank with his UVB and his basking. He has one spot he hangs out in. But I guess we're just playing it day by day. <laughs> it does uh, assist feed him still. So uh, I, can't, I lost it because it scrolled by. But I want to try reptilinks. Is it worth a try? <gasps> I'm glad you asked about reptilinks. We may or may not have a video where we try them the first.
first time this Friday? I think it's going to be this Friday. I think it's this Friday's video. Yeah. So what perfect time are you for you to ask? Because we've, we've never, we had never tried them before. And then we recently did a video where we gave them a shot. And we had mostly good results. There were some mixed results, but mostly good results. And last question. We'll just do it. Where ah. and when is the facility opening? We'll ah. just end with that. So we already start, we started with it, but yep, who, we can end who with actually it. stayed for this entire three and a yeah, half know, hour thing right? besides exactly. me and you? Yeah. So Come where on. and when? We this building is located in Maplewood, Minnesota. If you just Google Snake Discovery in Maplewood, Minnesota, it'll pop right up. Ah. It's Snake Discovery Reptile Experience. And I think we have the Google opening date set to April 9th. And that is really, I think that is actually going to happen. It was going to be the second, and we pushed it back another week just because we're waiting on some shelving units still to arrive. So we have products sitting on the floor because we don't have all of our shelving units yet. But, yeah, April 9th is when we want the retail side to open officially. And I will probably just be open, though, since it will only be Ed and myself running it, and we're still trying to open the zoo. We'll probably just be open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday until we get some employees, I suppose, yep. down the line. But the grand opening with everything, like if you're coming from a long ways away, don't come just for the retail. No. Don't make a trip just for We walked for this. you around the retail in the beginning. It's not that big. It's no, not worth traveling it's for. It's not worth a trip just for the retail. We're not that cool. No, I wish I mean, we I am, but. <laughs> <laughs> We're planning the zoo area being open with grand opening and everything. Uh, bells and whistles, June sometime. We don't have an exact date for that. But we are planning on, should we tell them about the uh, contest we're doing beforehand? Sure. We're going to do. 3,600 people here, so. Oh, yeah, not okay. That many. Yeah, not a whole. All right. Uh, we're planning on doing a build off, an enclosure build off. And we're, that's, we haven't announced this yet, actually. No. So you get to see it live. Uh, we're doing a build off and hosting one at the facility. We're going to do it in the classroom. And it'll probably be a month before we open with grand opening. So that will, we'll invite like 10 or so. Um, friends of ours or people who have YouTube channels who want to like make a video about it and uh, kind of spread word of the grand opening here in the form of everyone making a uh, uh, an enclosure of their own. So it's going to be donated. The enclosures are going to be donated by. I don't think anyone can hear you with all the oh. bubbling. <laughs> Sorry. The enclosures are going to be donated by Paul with yep. Maximum Reptiles. So they're going to be like those enclosures. Yep. That one right here, probably. There will be 10 of those donated for the contest, so we'll have 10 participants. And we're going to have, we have several other uh, product or brands, basically, like BioDude and ZooMed. They're going to donate products to use for those enclosures, and all the participants will grab what they want, make as epic of an enclosure as they can. And then you guys, our viewers, since we're going to make a video about it too, you get to vote on which one is the best. And then we're going to raffle those off at grand opening for people who visit. Yep. So I don't know what the prize is going to be for the creator who makes the best one. It just might be kind of bragging rights. Yeah, or, just bragging rights. It'll just be a fun thing for us yep. all to do is build an enclosure. Exactly. But yeah, so we're going to do a build off, but we haven't really announced it. Best um, thing is 10 people will be able to walk away with a brand new enclosure. Yeah. So when you come for grand opening, we're going to raffle them all off and we'll have all the uh, content. I think we're going to invite like Clint and Dave and uh, there's a bunch of people we want to invite, so um, they'll sign theirs, and you might win the one that they signed and yeah. they made. So that'd be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so. anyway, a anyway. lot of people said they were here for the entire time, so we love you all. We were here the whole time. Yeah, that's insane. I wouldn't have been here the entire time if I was an opening male. Wow. That's In fact, I think I walked hours. away a handful of times at the beginning. We both so. walked away from time to time. <laughs> we weren't even here the whole time, but you were. You're better than us. Jeez. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, cool, Brock. This is going to have to go out on the ramp, too. Yep. That's really cool. Thank you so much for everything, guys. And thank you, Patreon backers, for all of your support as well. Pretend the uh, credits are flashing on the screen. Yep. I can't edit There's a name anymore. here, and a name here, <laughs> and a name here, 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 here. Pretty much. And then it flashes to a new one. Yep. <laughs> We're going to film maybe more a more thorough update right after this to post on Patreon. And there's going to be some other videos we make with, like, Guess Who or Trying Coffee yep. that we'll just post on Patreon, but it'll be, like, a public video, so you don't have to be a member in order to see it because we want everyone to be able to see those or see the videos of us thanking you for the gifts that you sent. But, yeah, we don't we don't deserve all of this. This is no. insane. And Cheyenne, you are so spoiled, too. Yeah, oh, people love, love you. you. Here, I'll show you the game that we do, and then we'll say goodbye. Okay, ready? Ready? Okay, the nuts. I know, you're excited. The nuts is in this hand. Ready? Which hand is it? Make a hand. <gasps> no, nope, it's not in there. Try the other one. It's still not in there. It's in this one. Try this one. There it is. Good girl.
Yay, you did it first try. <laughs> and uh, on that note, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And we'll see you for an exciting episode on Friday. Goodbye. Oh, all right. Okay. Goodbye, oh. everybody. <laughs> Bye.